हेलो 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 वेलकम टू द फिडे वर्ल्ड कप 2023 व्हिच इज करंटली टेकिंग प्लेस एट बाकू आई गेस वी ऑल आर हियर फॉर द मोस्ट प्रेस्टिजियस इवेंट ऑफ 2023 वेरी वेरी एक्साइटिंग एक्साइटिंग टूर्नामेंट वी हैव लेट मी जस्ट शो यू सम इंफॉर्मेशन बट बिफोर दैट गाइस वेरी सॉरी अ लिटिल बिट डिले फ्रॉम माय साइड but uh now it's going to be a, a long game a long tournament a marathon tournament in fact let me show you some details and before you ask me where is agarsha is i guess most of you might be knowing because of his vlogs but let's go here this is the day 1 of the baku tournament fide world cup 2023 and here we have it is from 30th july to 24th august 2023 and the prize fund is 2 and 1/2 million us dollars that is roughly around 20 and 1/2 crores oh my god that's huge but participants you can see here 206 in the open section 103 in the women section guys i hope um, you're able to hear me very well and i am also going to talk about our overlays and all uh, abhidaya has made some wonderful things so it's going to be exciting uh, <laughs> let me know your opinions there qualification you can see top 3 players will be qualifying for the 2024 candidates tournament which will be held in canada going to the next uh, next slide the time control it is two classical games so one round actually will have uh, two games with one with white and another with black and if it ends in a draw it will be it will go for a play off which will be 25 plus 10 rapid games two rapid games and if that also ends in a draw then another two games with 10 plus 10 time control then 5 plus 3 and then the final one would be 3 plus 2 so that would be exciting if at all anybody enters that 3 plus 2 segment um well we have 17 indians this time playing in this tournament last time which was held in 2021 if you all remember we had 12 indians so five more indians also very important to know uh gukesh who is 2744 who had currently broken all the records he he was the youngest one to reach 2750 he is getting a bye in the first time uh, in the first round also many more the reason why are they getting bye with it as well 2719 with classical rating arjun is also getting a bye pragnananda guys can you tell me do you know why are these guys getting a buy nihal sarin there who is getting a buy and then in women section hampi who is the third seed she is getting a buy also you can see if if uh, in this round priyanka notakki versus brunella marina brunello marina whoever wins will play against hampi so yeah that is the pairing tree over there and then harika also is getting a buy vaishali as well so these are the nine players who are getting uh, these are the eight players right yeah these are the eight players who are getting by in the first round and the reason is yes exactly rakshit <laughs> why why am i transparent that's a good question uh, you have to you have to tell me if this new setup is interesting but uh, the reason they are getting by is the top 50 se seeds in the men section and 25 seeds in the women section they are getting directly qualified for round 2 so that is the reason that by is a privilege year so today what we are going to see are the games of sl narayanan who is 2656 classical rated he is playing against i am providence ot lots ot lots say i did practice saying this but still i am <laughs> i'm not able to uh, whose classical rating is 2199 so okay a huge uh, huge rating gap and it should not be very difficult for sl narayanan in this round 
Going to the next game will be Abhimanyu Puranik, who is 2600 Grandmaster from Pune. That's my city. And he is playing against GM Luis Fernando, whose classical rating is 2448. Yes, so there is still 150 roughly low difference. Yes, yes, match has started and we will go to it. The round is going to be long. It's a classical game. Not a problem. Just let me give you the introduction of this event. As you see, if um, Abhimanyu beats uh, his opponent, then here you can see his flag. Yeah, he will play Swiddler in the next round. Uh, for SL Narayanan, if he beats his opponent, he will play either of Tisir Muhammad or Kuzubov Yuri in the next round. Going to the beast, Adiban, <laughs> 2587. He is playing against GM Henderson the La Fuente Lance whose classical rating is 2517. So not too much of um, rating difference here, maybe 70 points. But if Adiban beats uh, Henderson in the first round, then the next round is going to be one of the most exciting matchups because it will be Beast versus Daniel Dubov. Okay, going to the next, next game will be Karthik. Karthik who is 2565 and today he's playing against Gregory Kaidanov. You can see Kaidanov is a very famous player already he's in his 60s so uh, it's amazing that he's in this world cup and if Karthikian beats Kaidanov then his next round opponent will be Hikaru Nakamura. Oh my god now that would be another you know crazy match up there. Uh, so this game we will also have a look at Harsha Bharat Koti 2563 is playing against Levan Pansulaya who is 2564. So actually Levan is one ELO rating higher than Harsha and if Harsha beats Levan then the next round he will be playing against none other than Magnus Carlsen. Okay. So that would be, <laughs> I mean, a lot of exciting games are coming up in the second round if, if our players do well right now. Going to the women's section, Divya Deshmukh, who is 2400 classical rated. Today she's playing against WIM Puteri, Manaja, Azhara, who is 2004. So a lot of ELO difference there should not be difficult for Divya in this round. Next would be Nandida PV, whose rating is 2329 and she is playing against WIM Tianqi Yan from China and her rating is 2277. So yes, Nandida is higher rated. She should be able to beat. But as we know, all the Chinese players are extremely strong. So let's look at the, that thing, that game and we will know what happens. Marian Gomes playing against WGM Yanila Forgas Moreno. Now their ratings are also quite close to each other. But if Marianne is able to beat her opponent, then next round she plays with Katerina Lano. So that is going to be an exciting matchup. And the final game uh, would be Priyanka Nutaki 2293 versus Marina. I am Marina Brunello, very strong player. Uh, she is 23-24. So this would be if Priyanka beats Marina Brunello, it will already be an upset. So this is the this is the whole, uh, you know, 17 Indians who are participating, uh, who have actually qualified in this tournament. Um, that is exciting, guys. And so many of them have direct seeding. So tell me what can be more exciting than this? Also, guys, the overlays and everything, how do you like it? We are going to have some more surprises, which you, I think, cannot guess at all. I mean, at all. Okay, games have started and this is the board right now we have. I am going to tell you the surprise very, very soon. But before that, just give me a... Little bit of moment. Ha, huh. let me change the thumbnail. That's done there. Any guesses about surprise? Okay, Joy Ratta, member for 31 months, pillar of Indian chest. 
says hello amruta arre joy amazing to see you here such an important tournament for us for india for the whole indian community and of course uh, globally as well but guys it's going to be amazing here uh, we all are going to watch the games together and have a lot of fun so this game sl narayanan starts with the queen pawn d4 he plays and his opponent replies with d5 c4 c6 knight f3 knight of 3 knight of 6 they are developing their knights shanti say sl goes e3 very very standard opening moves happening here on this board and here he decides to develop the knight to d2 instead of c3 which is the usual square to going towards center his opponent also develops the knight to d7 okay so this is a this is a typical standard game going on there actually i we have to watch nine games so i'll have to keep switching so it's important that i need to really increase the speed uh, it's not like the uh, earlier tournaments where i was watching major league ukesh's game and you know only one or two games it was very easy to switch so okay that's going to be challenging i'll figure that out but until then let me just have a look at the chat how are you all doing guys Oh my god Mayur says Japan update senior championship was won by Dr Stephen Jones 80 or 81 years old active and magical now Mayur that is definitely inspiring <laughs> I guess I'll be able to uh, play chess at 80 Good luck Divya guys today uh, who is your favorite player among all of the uh, players who are playing Rakshit says Abhidaya OP kar do chat me for the efforts for this great looking layout okay great yes that means you do like this layout very much where is sagar yes sagar guys he is uh, at baku and he will be <laughs> he will be doing commentary from baku for fide Shekhar says this is such a pretty overlay. Oh, that is cool. Yes, definitely Abhidaya has uh, put lot of efforts for this. Some sleepless nights. Adiban, Divya, Gukesh. Gukesh will not be playing today, but yes, Gukesh with it. <laughs> Arey, nice. Prag, surprise to batao says Mohammad. हाँ थोड़ा रुको थोड़ा रुको सरप्राइज के लिए मेरा भी एक एफर्ट है बट <laughs> मेरा तो कुछ भी नहीं है सो गाइस लेट मी जस्ट ट्राई टू चेक इफ इट इज ऑल फाइन यस इट इज नाउ यर इज द सरप्राइज व्हिच राइट नाउ आई एम गोना शो यू if you can see on my right there are these bars here and you have all the evaluations here and guys that is a surprise for you because it's going to be very very easy to follow what's happening uh, right now i have eight uh, eight bars over here we have nine players i'll get one more but guys op rakshit sing op because what a what an amazing thing he has created here this is simply brilliant the way we are going to be able to watch this it's the first time we all were always uh, dreaming about it ki are side mein kuch to batao everybody loves bar chess players love bar as we know <laughs> so that is the whole evaluation we will get to know all the while talking with each other we can see narayanan your slightly you know not in trouble uh, adiban your slightly okay it's still opening so right now we cannot be focusing too much on bars but as it you know as the games go ahead we will definitely 
be um, having the bar again and again. So yes, Rakshit, OP, absolutely OP. He, what an amazing job he has done. So we are going to be having a lot of fun. What do you think, guys? What do you think? I'm really missing Sagar here because he would have enjoyed uh, to have this, to be working on something like this. It would have been such a new experience. But we will wait for him. We will definitely wait for him. As Chandan Nagar says, Dhoke Baz Bar exactly remembers the Nikhilesh ka term. <laughs> but Rakshit Opi, guys. Rakshit says, King F1 was transmission error. Narayana has castled. The only good thing is that we have some time to. Um, it's the classical game. So we had time to talk and, you know. Uh, give surprises and all of it but one more thing i must not uh, uh, i must remind you we have the live subscribers here subscribers number there you can see right now it is 12 lakh 35927 and let's have a target for this uh, whole event which ends on 24th uh, august so let's have an, have a target and let's aim at 13 lakh. Guys, what do you think? Is it realistic or am I uh, being too, what to say, optimistic? I can use the word greedy as well, but I prefer optimistic. <laughs> so is this a two games per round with a tiebreak system? Yes, absolutely. So one round, actually, if it goes to tiebreak, we will be having three days for one round in a way one game sudarshan rangan says uh, loving the layout swapnil says yes we love bar <laughs> that smiley does uh, say a lot more swapnil 64000 remaining yes mohammed so 20 so that's a good aim right okay cool so we will have the same not a, it's not a greedy aim it's just an optimistic aim greedy aim would be to go for you know 15 million or something like that but this is fine sorry not 15 million 15 lakh <laughs> please add time yeah i'll go to the games and now everything will be fine if i go to the live view so you're in sl naranan's game uh what happened was castle Castle, they developed their bishops very symmetrically on these nice long diagonals. If you see, keeping pressure on the h7 here and on the h2 points, whenever you have short castled, these are the typical points which can get under pressure. And here, what SL Narayanan goes for is a very, very, uh, you know, simple thing which we learn from our childhood when we start playing chess, which is like, center is important yeah and that is definitely the hint for the next move guys he played e4 and he challenged the center and he says now i have three pawns in the center whereas you have only one pawn also let me tell you all of you we have nine games today and as we what we do usually is to try and be in the shoes of the players who are playing so that we get that feel, we get that pressure and we get that practice. So it's like having nine different coaches today. It's going to be an amazing training session as well. So guys, be ready, be very focused. And I'm going to ask a lot of questions as well. So maza aane wala hai. Your oat hold say. Guys, can you tell me how do I pronounce this once? Can you tell me in the chat? He also says, ki, oh dude, I'm also cha going to challenge the center. It's not just you when you're in the center, there is all chaos happening. Uh, Narayanan says, okay, let me release some tension in the center. He takes this pawn right now. Uh, what is Providence is thinking, maybe that's the easiest way to say. Raksha says, childhood me to BB1, Queen C2, khel ke char aane ka trap <laughs> if knight of six moves. Yes. English. Uh, so over here, C takes D5 has been played. And if Providence takes in the center, 
this is going to be very very challenging in the center and we will see how uh, narayanan will release the stress in the center let's go to the next game by the way here we right now have divya's game divya is white she is also very very um highly rated than her opponent it's sicilian on the board she opens with the king pawn here e4 and c5 very very um, you know exciting opening this is knight f3 knight c6 and if you go d4 then it is open sicilian because the position is open as simple as that but if you play knight c3 it's close sicilian let's see she opens up with d4 now that's confidence because in sicilian when you play open sicilian there are a lot of lines lot of possibilities to prepare it means divya is very well prepared knight d4 and her opponent goes g6 she is trying to go for accelerated dragon now what is accelerated dragon when you delay d6 that would be it but divya here goes c4 and people in the chat what is this structure against sicilian called as how many of you remember because it's been a long time and i am asking you this question palni says today i am in a great mood so i am completely ready for difficult puzzles and with my nerves seeing the games oh ho great गाइज ऐसा ही मूड लेके आओ यस 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 you guys are right and that is called as meroxi bind system so uh, we are having it here and what is one of the main aim for black in meroxi bind this is also something which many of you who have been following the streams would know but if new people new new of you have joined this is a very good time to learn what is the aim for black here chess for fun says and i am in a bad mood because i lost 25 games in a row dropped below 2000 <laughs> are then to this is the this is also the perfect mood because all the questions right now you should try to answer <laughs> yes deven kushal rakshit chess for fun kadamakudi sam to moon absolutely right the eventual aim is to once again challenge the center with d5 with of course preparation and support so that's that's how it's going to be sagar got a buy in the first stream no he is uh, he is commentating on fide channel i haven't been able to check it out but yes guys he'll be there he's at baku so bishop g7 by divya's opponent Divya goes bishop e3 right now develops her bishop and is of course careful on this diagonal her opponent plays knight f6 now when this knight is on f6 and when you have bishop on e3 generally we do try to take care and keep a watch on knight g4 attacking this bishop because then it will not be possible to move the bishop as this knight will be under a lot of pressure but as of now there is no knight g4 happening it's just something to keep in mind yonathan maybe you can uh, yeah write once and no need to write again and again so that it doesn't spam there okay so uh, let's this is divya's game here we have followed two games until now let's try to check other games also what i am going to try and do is to maybe open uh yeah open more 
games here different windows here that should be the easiest to switch from one game to other uh, let me find the next game yeah there we have abhimanyu puranik who is black and his opponent is ibarra chami luis fernando from mexico 2448 here as we know we are majorly focusing on indians there 17 indians are playing d4 d5 in abhimanyu's game and guys what is the name of this opening or can you tell me if i am right the name of this opening is paris opening <laughs> Not even say Sagar Bhai is live on Pide and Amrita Adi is here. Where should I go? That's a very good question. So uh, you can watch both because there you get the whole global uh, view, and here you get the Indian perspective as well. Atanu Sarkar says, "Am I late at the party? It's World Cup time." No, Atanu, you are not at all late, uh, and definitely it's a party. along with some pressure <laughs> it's a different it's a chess party <laughs> stress to hoega hi thoda bahut <laughs> london london united kingdom london london okay everybody absolutely uh, sure it's no paris opening or anything this is london opening and uh, nihal plays it a lot of course even gukesh but London opening is everybody's favorite as far as I know. Majority of you, I mean. So Bishop F four there, uh, C five by Abhimanyu Puranik. Already a very dynamic line he's choosing. Once again, you see the opening. Whenever you see, you see constant challenge in the center. So E three, Knight C six. He develops his pieces. You can see in top players' games majorly. the development and all happens very fast unlike uh, if you have started chess very newly you will generally try to keep pushing these pawns especially just pawn push pawn push pawn push so this is something to learn from bishop g4 goes abhimanyu pins this knight and what is his threat right now what is black's threat here is the first question for you let me we have our chat chess moves working so i'm going to check how many of you get it right Okay, shall I go to guys? By the way, do you like this animation? Okay, maybe I have messed it up with the chat chess moves. Or wait, let me go to the main board until I figure figure things out here. Yep, submit. Okay, I guess I have messed it up. The chat chess moves uh, not updating, but I will check it out in between. But right now, C takes D four. Yes, you guys are right. It is the threat is taking the pawn in the center, and once the pawn, like just to give you an example, a move like A three would mean losing a pawn by take take, and here you have knight D four because. this knight cannot capture bishop takes d1 you would lose the queen so there you are he plays c3 defends the d4 pawn and abhimanyu also simply uh moves his pawn from the center ready to develop his bishop on f8 is he going to challenge this bishop we will see we will see what happens next but all of you very smart because you guys have observed the cool animation absolutely cool animation i also was very impressed uh, with abhidaya 
when he first sent me ki okay you have to do this and that this is how it's going to work and I, when i did it i was like come on what is happening i thought this happens only in you know this ipl and in cricket and all of it but this is just brilliant guys so we have absolutely pro stream right now the production value yeah absolutely <laughs> yes we have many of them have a buy so once again very quickly all of you who have missed i'm just going to i'm just going to show you how many people are going to be having a buy here gukesh is going to have a buy vidit arjun prag nihal hampi harika and vaishali they are all going to have a buy right now but they will be joining in the round 2 okay let's go to the main scene there the main board and i am going to open one one game this is abhimanyu's game things are in control opening has been fine he is having more time than his opponent um oops I think I'll open the easiest thing would be to open nine windows so that I have all the nine games and then I can keep switching. The next game would be around fifty. Yeah, fifty six part. Oh my God! What the hell is happening here? Ad is black. Okay, but there are no queens on the board. But it's important that we check this opening. D four by Henderson. Adiban goes knight f six. C four and Adiban goes g six. Wow! Is it going to be a uh, Grunfeld or yes, he goes d five. Now that's Grunfeld opening. C takes d Grunfeld defense. C takes d five. Knight takes d five. Bishop goes to d two and defends this knight on c three. C five once again. Adiban challenges the center here with c five. But look at his opponent. He says, "No, I don't care. I am counter attacking, and right now your knight has to move. Where will it go?" Adiban says, "Not a problem, dude. I am just simply going to exchange. Knight takes d five. Knight takes c three. And your white had a choice of b takes c three and bishop takes c three. But b takes c three would have been a mistake." because he would have simply lost a pawn you can see one and two attackers whereas only one defender there so he goes bishop takes c3 c takes d4 here bishop takes d4 now the rook is attacked what do you do adiban goes e5 and there going there is going to be an important question for all of you be alert what will what did adiban have in mind if henderson would capture bishop takes e5 black to play what did adiban have in mind for bishop takes e5 let's see let's see guys the you might think the question is easy but no the question is absolutely a tough one Hi there. It says when players complete their games, Amrita will change the zero with points. Yes, absolutely. That's the question, guys. I have been tricking you guys. okay now things are changing now people have started i think maybe many of you started changing the answers also but uh, unfortunately let me see if my if i am started the chat just moves uh not yet but guys all of you thought that queen a5 check is coming and yes you thought that you are winning a piece 
But what you did miss was bishop goes back to c3 there. Yeah, we don't need. Bishop goes back to c3 there and the queen is attacked and you're not winning a piece. So that was absolutely an April fool which you fell for. And that is not the reason why Adiban played e5. But all of you who have mentioned this move in the very beginning, actually, who was alert? Palni, Chandan Nagar, Stella, and Yug. Well done. You guys were the first ones who played Bishop B, who suggested Bishop B4 check. And this question was important for two reasons. One is that not to simply, you know, see on the surface ki queen a5 check ri and you are winning a piece. I think this blunder you guys did. So that one was one thing. And the other one was to understand that if queen a5 doesn't work, then bishop b4 is the next best move. So bishop b4 was played. Uh, no, this did not happen in the game, I guess. But bishop b4, the whole plan of e5 was if white will go back bishop c3 then i mean he will have to go back he cannot move the king and after takes takes queen will go to a5 and this will be giving a good enough compensation to adiban next he is going to castle he has amazing development white king is way way far from castling so that was his whole idea the beast play but after e5 what henderson said that no, I'm not risking my king there. I'll go bishop c3. That's what he plays. And Adiban takes the queen. The queens are getting exchanged. Now he goes knight c6 and defends the central pawn on e5. If you look at the whole position and the development looks as of now, Adiban's development is decent. He is going to play bishop e6. He might challenge this rook on d1. So... Yeah, but he has to be a little alert with this bishop on c3 eyeing on this rook, the pin over there. If any, uh, you know, important important pressures on the central pawn can happen, bishop is going coming to b5. In general, position is decent, but he needs to be still very careful. So that is Adiban's game here, which we have. equalized yeah it, it could be it is you can say almost equalized with black that's a that's a good thing we will see how he continues even if this game ends in a draw the next game he will be white uh here in abhimanyu's game it is the same uh, position in divya's game also it's almost the same and in sl narayan's game oh my god a lot of things have happened i think we must check it out SL played rook e1 here, bringing his rook on the open file and lot of ideas upcoming there. So rook e1, his opponent also played rook e8, SL took the pawn on d5, Providence also takes, they are just copying each other. It's like, jo tu karega wo main karunga, wo rehta hai na, vese wala. Do you have such type of, uh, you know, friends or... Are you those, are you that sibling ki, jo mera bhai karega, wahi mein karungi. <laughs> I used to do that sometimes. So, rook e4 was played by SL and the bar doesn't like it, but I'm not sure if it is, uh, it, it shows it's a, it can't be true because I don't think uh, SL will simply give the rook like this. Rook e7, rook e7. Ah, no, 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 no. This is a transmission error. For sure, it can't be true, can't be true. Deepak says, Sagar Bhai has now become international chess commentator. <laughs> copycat variation. Younger brothers are copycats. <laughs> The actual moves are rook e8, queen takes e8, says Ritwik here. So, yeah, I guess that sounds um, very logical. What would have happened is rook takes e8, queen takes e8, and here SL Narayanan is thinking uh, he can take, if no, he cannot take here, is it a problem? 
yeah because if black goes queen here trying to attack double trying to double attack the problem is the knight will jump to f3 and he can do double defense so that's not going to work so before that he will have to play one move to recover a pawn he can take knight d5 simply but he also has bishop h2 and then he can think of queen e5 so these will be the options there after queen takes e8 um let's check all the other games which we are yet to touch so last game was adibans which we saw now which game have we not seen for the open section yeah we went to adiban 50 he's playing on 56th board number and right now let's go to maybe kartik yeah we have to go to kartik's game and uh, then harsha bharat koti so kartik is playing kaida now kartik is white and he is having slight edge right now as the bar says you also have the bar over there but let's have the bars more a little bit later as well uh, for now maybe i'll just for a while i'll have this thumbnail so that also new people joining in will know but yeah that is the most exciting thing which we are having today in our um, chat so okay let's look at kartik's game d4 he opened up with developed his knights and the bishops queen's gambit declined a very very standard opening bishop goes back to h4 and both of them castle um and right now black is making all the preparation so as to be able to strike in the center in the future so rook c1 rook c8 a3 a5 there not yet able to play c5 until the b5 pawn is hanging and here kartik goes knight e5 kartik is also going to take care that he he does some progress on king side you can see the first pawn the pawn which is attacking the knight on f6 once the knight once the knight moves from f6 then h7 point seems a little loose so if the queen comes ahead of the bishop then it can threaten some checkmate ideas there knight goes back and dark square bishop gets exchanged there and kartik is all set for an attack he goes f4 wow now this can get really really interesting but right now he has supported his e5 pawn which is an important pawn knight goes to c5 attacks this bishop the bishop is happy to retreat very important that white would never consider losing such a beautiful bishop on the longest diagonal so he goes back to b1 rook goes to d8 there's only one open file right now which black is right now controlling and attacking the queen kartik is thinking but he has a few choices here which may not be easy guys because one is queen c2 you would love your queen to be on the beautiful diagonal threatening a checkmate in two moves the other is that you might want to develop on the king side so where would you like your queen to go whether you would like to go on c2 or whether you would like to go on g4 that's the question for you to think sakar says format should be ulta two rapid games two blitz game and then time break of one classical <laughs> So, so you are talking about uh, actually what you are talking about is nothing but uh, World Cup Rapid and Blitz. Actually, not a bad idea, World Cup Rapid and Blitz. But I guess the whole uh, reason for Magnus enjoying World Cup, uh, World Rapid and Blitz, which happens in December, is because you know all the players are in one tournament. This qualifiers again and again, you know, it kind of cut cuts down a lot of players and. it the feel of that world rapid and blitz will be lost so yeah but yeah nice one aditya rao says hope opponent misses the mate aditya rao do you play chess like this is the threat and hope my opponent misses it and then when your opponent doesn't misses it 
फिर वो क्या ही फीलिंग आ जाता है अरे यार एंड देन यू ओनली मेक अ मिस्टेक वट अबाउट क्वीन सी टू क्वीन सी टू क्वीन जी फोर क्वीन सी टू क्वीन जी फोर ओ ही डज गो क्वीन सी टू विच इज विच इज अ गुड मूव बिकॉज यू हैव प्रोवोक्ट दिस पॉन टू जी सिक्स राइट नाउ एट द एंड ऑल्सो यू आर कीपिंग एन आई ऑन यू कैन सी यर द क्वीन एंड द रुक टूगेदर इफ दिस नाइट मूव देर विल बी अर डिस्को of course your knight immediately is not going anywhere but knight e2 transferring to d4 could definitely be one of the big ideas uh, around a corner in fact right now karthik's move and knight e2 seems very very interesting you are attacking this knight where is the knight going to go the knight doesn't oh doesn't have any of the square but can it go to d3 if knight goes to d3 guys is it going to get trapped if knight goes to d3 that's the only square it's attacking the rook and then karthik will just simply move the rook to attack the knight back and once again the knight has no square uh, so it will have to go back to c5 and suddenly with that one move black has not got anything any progress it's just stagnancy there and white knight will jump to d4 and this is going to be a devastating plan with h4 h5 and um the king side becoming weak so karthik has great chances of winning and by the way if karthik is able to you know manage to beat his opponent then the important thing to understand is his next round opponent his next round opponent is um, let me just show you yeah his next round opponent will be hikaru nakamura so that would be amazing you can see the see in that thumbnail there in the game photo uh, if he beats kaidano he will play the next round with hikaru by the way guys did you get to know hikaru nakamura is getting married so hum alex uh, maybe you can drop hi once but uh, don't spam the chat because we will be reading if any interesting comments we will get can we bring the other rook to d1 but your c1 rook was attacked so that's the reason i don't think you could bring that uh, other rook to d1 okay so that is karthik's game as of now karthik is having this slight initiative plus i think psychologically even better initiative because he has a beautiful plan in hand let's go to the next game i think we will watch now harsha bharat koti's game that's the last for the open section which we are yet to check out and the reason why this game is extremely important guys because if harsha manages to beat his opponent then next round he will be playing with magnus carlson and imagine magnus imagine magnus carlson in classical chess if harsha beats him oh my god wouldn't that be the biggest upset of the event because i remember when i and sagar had gone to world cup tbilisi which was in 2017 uh, in georgia it was at that point of time uh, magnus was um, magnus was shocked by bu ziangzi and that was that actually that was our start of the videos uh, sagar had put over there bu ziangzi he beat magnus and um, i think some of the people who were in the audience i think they clapped because i mean it's a, of course a great feat to beat magnus so yeah anything can happen anything can happen so d4 g6 in harsha's game c4 bishop g7 e4 and um, okay a lot of pawns in the center this should be modern opening actually but there is also c4 inserted let's see d6 knight c3 and c5 have they converted in benoni or modern defense bishop take c3 okay so levan says i am giving bishop for the knight 
Now in return, what is his plan? Why do you think guys, Levan gave his beautiful bishop which was on a beautiful long diagonal for a knight which is not going anywhere in the short term? That's a question for you. You have to not tell in terms of moves but why do you think? Able says the urge to put knight to threaten the queen is why I am 200. <laughs> Able, so you know that. Either says imagine being in Harsha place. Yes, imagine being in um, all these uh, nine players place. Actually, very, very uh, difficult. So why did Black gave up his beautiful bishop? Come on, guys. You cannot be so slow. What is the reason? Why did Black gave this bishop? Acha, sorry, I think my uh, live chat was not updating. It was not your problem. Double pawns, double pawns, double pawns. Aditya Rao says, no idea. Palni says, because that is the piece which defends e4, so bishops should be on d3 and locked. Because he is Levan, not Levon. <laughs> okay, so because, so what he, the idea. You know, in imbalances, I don't know if you all have watched, uh, there is this Sagar's imbalance theory uh, videos, do watch that. Also, Silman's reassess chess has, a, has it beautifully explained. So, here you are giving up a bishop in exchange for the knight. Yes, first, that is one of the reasons that you are doubling the pawns. But, the position, guys, very important is the position, if you look at the center, the whole position gives the essence of a closed position. You don't feel like the position is an open position. And in closed position, which piece is important? Sankalp says maturity is when you realize that the knight is the real OG. <laughs> Yes, in closed positions, knight is a very, very important piece. So based on the structure, on the pawn structure, on the um, closed position uh, structure, black has given his bishop. And not just that, what he is going to do next is whenever you know what a bad bishop is, when you have the pawns placed on one color square in the center, that same bishop is a bad bishop. So what he is going to now do is, because he exchanged this bishop, the dark square bishop, the next thing he is going to do is to put all his pawns on dark square. And now look at this bishop on d3. Behind this pawn structure, it's a bad bishop. It will of course have to find a way to come out of the pawn structure. But that was the reason why this bishop against the knight exchange was fine is a is a good exchange bishop d3 by harsha knight bd7 plays levan and harsha immediately goes for f4 he says i have two bishops agar mere paas do bishop hai to plan clear hai i want to open up the position because my bishops need long diagonals that gives you the plan so like how we think reverse psychology. It's something like that. So he goes f4, trying his best to, you know, pawn breaks will be very important in a closed, uh, closed structure. Queen f6 is played by Levan and Harsha is thinking right now, uh, his opponent is threatening to simply win the pawn on f4. It needs to be defended. So knight e2 looks like the natural next move. 
Hoof. So here we have, I think, covered all the games of uh, open section, and uh, I mean all the games of Indians playing in the open section. Shall we now look at the women's section? I think uh, we did look at Divya's game, which was Meroxi bind, Bishop G seven, Bishop E three, Knight F six, Knight C three, Castle. Divya went Bishop E two here. Uh, she is going to go for short castle because of the Meroxi bind structure. And yeah, Divya has one hour fourteen minutes. Azhar Puteri Munajza Azhara has one hour four minutes. She is thinking right now. And um, maybe Divya will keep her pawn on f3 or maybe f4. We have to see. We have to see what kind of plan Divya is going to choose. Sometimes depending on the elo rating or sometimes depending on the games you see of your opponent uh, in mega database, what you find out is your opponent loves playing, let's say, uh, end games, then you will sometimes avoid end games. Your opponent, if they love playing, very dynamic position then you try to bring play some uh, simple positions which become very becomes very tough for them so all of it i'm sure that divya would have studied her opponent's uh, games and accordingly we will also realize her, her decision making on the board how it is going to be lokesh hello welcome he says i am Ruta, one woman army for world cup <laughs> Uh, Lokesh, uh, thank you. But I am really hoping that uh, Sagar, he will be coming back on 2nd, 2nd of uh, August. So he will be joining us then. Okay, let's go to the next, next women's board. And that's, I think totally there are 38 games going on. And the next board number for us would be okay this is a little complicated yeah but there it is 34th board uh yan tiyak tiyanki versus pv nandida and nandida is white what did she play she opened with e4 guys kaise lag raha hai 24 days of uh, not 24 a long time almost almost a month long event there they will have two rest days uh, have you for have have any of you followed any of the World Cup before? Let's say Tbilisi or in twenty twenty one we we did it online. Any World Cup fully from start till the end. How many of you have followed it and really really look forward to it? So e4, e5 in Nandida's game, uh, that's the Rylop is opening there, which we are looking at. Rook e1, knight goes to d6. So this is all a standard opening, which is happening on the board. Bishop goes to f6, she goes back, knight f5. And wow, that is amazing that the players are prepared. But Nandida has started using her time. She went down to 1 hour 11 minutes at this position, uh, both of them with equal time. So they are now out of their preparation and the rooks have challenged each other. Position looks very, very symmetric in terms of pawn structure. Um, but the knight on f5 is nicely placed. For this f f3 knight, he is going to eye this outpost in the open file there. So that is a good square, whereas the knight on f5 might only challenge this knight in the future. I, I definitely prefer um, Nandida's knight than uh, Yan Tinki, Tiyanki's knight, for sure. So that would be the slight um, edge there. Another thing is if this bishop will be on this diagonal, that would be one thing. Maybe black will try to go for c5 ideas. But then it isolates the d5 pawn. So maybe he will just keep it symmetrical and play it safe. So Nandida is playing against Tanti Yanki. And if Nandida beats her opponent, uh, is she going to play Hampi or is it Priyanka? We will check that out. This is Nandida's game. Finally, let's check Mary's game. Mary Ann Gomes, who has qualified for this event uh, through Asians, I guess. 
and Mary Ann Gomes is black. Yes, but online. Palni says only 2021 mein follow kiya tha. This is the first time says Sankalp. Okay, that's going to be a lot of fun then. Mysterious says guys Twitter par trend karte hai. India jite ga. It would be amazing, right, if uh, any of our uh, Indian players are able to reach the finals and qualify to the candidates. That would be epic. I think it should be possible this time. What do you guys think? Archit says, I am a CA student and chess and watch chess with India is the only thing that I do apart from studies. Chess is such a beautiful game. Are Archit, thank you so much. That's a big thing because... It's only preparation and chess. Big thing. You must be a very focused uh, guy. Hi there, it says fans ka support hoga to zarur jitega India. Any chance of getting player camps? Um, Pranay, no, I don't think we can get player camps. It's a, it's a very top most event and I think the rights and all are not... Um, I think they not will not be very easy. Guki hai na apna kuch kar dikhaega. Gukesh and Prag. Gukesh is the yeah he's the top like he's eighth seeding in this tournament. So yeah, this is the this is the game of Mary and Gom. She's having one hour. Her king is still in the center, whereas. White has actually managed to uh, complete her development. Long Castle as well. Mary is higher rated, maybe around 20-30 yellow difference. But what really happened? Are we seeing another Sicilian? But this time, this is what, what we are seeing is the closed Sicilian. It's the closed Sicilian. Open Sicilian is when you play d4 and a pawn gets exchanged in the center. So bishop g2, bishop g7. But Mary herself plays closed Sicilian a lot. So she is very well aware. She must be very well aware of it. She goes e6. Well, you also have a choice to place your pawn on e5, though it blocks the bishop. Uh, so that in the future, your idea is to develop knight to e7 and go for f5, f4 ideas. She goes e6 and says she wants to control the square d5, not allow the knight to sit here. White goes queen d2 saying I am going to already castle and if you develop your knight, I might even think of challenging your bishop here. So Mary goes rook b8 saying I am going to start on the queen side. If you long castle, I'll push my pawns. Knight f3, she goes b5 and her opponent goes e5 move. Now what is this move here? Because yes, definitely white intends some tactics there. But knight takes e5, knight takes e5 and bishop takes e5. Mary right now has won a pawn. But that seems like a pawn sacrifice. If you see here, after bishop e5, her opponent still has 1 hour 27 minutes. So she is in fact very well prepared. Now that is amazing preparation by Forgas. Will Mary be able to find on the board what is to be, how it is to be faced? She takes, c takes d4, bishop takes d4 and here develops the bishop to b7. Okay, firstly if she would have taken your bishop d4 then the queen comes to d4 this gets attacked and you don't like the position bishop coming to c6 so already looks dangerous so that's the reason she must have put her bishop on b7 but it is a mistake and will her opponent be prepared because we saw the e5 pawn sacrifice was all preparation and oh my god yes her opponent is so excellently prepared that Mary right now is in big trouble with the king on e8. And even if she is a pawn up, white has excellent compensation. This is very, very difficult. Right now with long castle, what is white's immediate threat? White to play. What is white's immediate threat? A winning move. The 
एक्स एक्सेस अकेडमी सेज एस एल नारायण प्लेइंग अगेन्स्ट माय कंट्रीमेन वाव दैट स्कूल दैट यू यू विल बी सपोर्टिंग हिम एंड विल बी सपोर्टिंग एस एल दैट वुड बी नाइस मैच अप वेर एज सागर एक्सप्लेन लॉर्ड्स इन वॉट वीडियो या यू विल जस्ट सर्च वर्ल्ड कप ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी थ्री इंडिया यू विल फाइंड फाइंड एज वीडियो Himank, hello Himank. Says who is a, who your favorites uh, to finish top three in both sections? Uh, very hard to choose from uh, this this much of a lot, but I mean I think our our young guns definitely are the favorites for sure. But I think here in this World Cup, there is a lot more than just qualifying to candidates. One is to qualify to candidates, but the other is as we saw, uh, pairings like Harsha getting to play with Magnus if he wins the first round, Karthik getting to play with Nakamura if he wins his first round. So all of these are also very very exciting matchups there. But the threat was yes, absolutely right. Sam to Moon, Shaman Shetty, Mrunal Nanal, Palni. जे के सोहम श्रीकर पियाली बिशप ई फाइव इज द थ्रेट बिकॉज वॉट यू कैन सी इज देर इज अ पिन एंड यू कैन नॉट टेक द बिशप क्वीन टेक्स डी एट वुड बी अ चेक मेट इन वन मूव फर्गेट अबाउट एनी थिंग बट चेक मेट इन वन मूव सो दैट इज द थ्रेट सो दैट मीन्स दैट हर अपोनंट जस्ट गोइंग बैक टू दिस मूव दिस पॉइंट एक्चुअली हर अपोनंट वॉज प्रिपेयर and she played e5 and this has been played earlier also in some games uh, we will check it out but what mary mary had 1 hour 26 minutes and she took 5 minutes to make this move now when you are looking at knight takes e5 what does it feel like oh okay what is really happening my knight here is not even in any kind of danger and i'm just exchanging your knight so you see it just feels that black has won a pawn for nothing for a moment it feels it's for nothing because for bishop c6 check you have bishop d7 here and uh, what happens with this is even the b5 is protected with x3 so it was a very difficult uh, thing to face on the board without the knowledge after bishop d4 but here it was important that mary had to develop her knight and now if long castle would have happened uh she could have exchanged the bishop and then gone for long castle and given this pawn on d6 back so this is how it was it it had to be played uh but on the board you definitely get a little bit intimidated by this uh, opening preparation of your opponent and this is in a this is a very very difficult situation for mary with black but this is just the first round and she is black and tomorrow she will be white plus mary is a big fighter so anything still can happen we will keep a watch can we go to sl narayanan's game Sachin says SL Narayanan's opponent is pretty much me at the age eight. Copy opponent as much as possible <laughs> till move eleven in the game. <laughs> yeah, I think uh, जब chess नया नया खेलना शुरू किया है तब it's like uh, चलो while play whatever my opponent will play. That's the easiest <laughs> way. But Yeah, so they had some transmit transmission issues. Now it seems to be fine. Queen e eight has been played, and here what S L Narayanan went for is knight c four, a nice move, a nice move attacking the bishop on d six already. Providence goes bishop c five. He defends the pawn on d four, and S L finds a nice move here. he just simply pushes his pawn to d6 if you look at the whole position i mean for this game since uh, you know since sl played e4 and c5 happened it has been just the feel of it when you look at it feels like a chaos all chaos too much to just 
stare at and then get engrossed if you are looking at a position right now but that is how it is sl has complicated the game nicely so his opponent who is how many like almost 300 points difference uh it's not going to be easy he needs to be as good in calculations as sl so pawn advanced to d6 the knight beautifully supporting it the first question which might come to your mind is oh there is this one pawn which has this one attacker and it is dependent on only one thing which is the knight so can we not kick the knight away now that is a question so what is sl's plan for b5 what was sl's plan because he is losing a pawn is it after b5 will sl lose a pawn where is pragananda where is nihal where is uh, arjun where is gukesh they all must be in flight i guess <laughs> sankalp says can we now go to divya's board yes we will definitely and guys all those who are joining new there has been a surprise let me show it to you oops one second Okay. Ah, okay, got it. One second. Oh, it won't update in OBS. Got it. Got it. I think I made a mistake. I had to make sure to not minimize the bar window, but I did minimize and. now i'll have to put all the links and all the game numbers again that i should do after asking a question to you later again but guys that is a surprise we have today rakshit has actually managed to have all the bars of all the players who are playing today and we can view it at one time ki what is happening on all nine boards now that is super exciting so rakshit op ho jaye ek bar and let me bring that uh, on the screen to show you that will take a minute for me to do um because i have right now messed it up i thought it was all ready knight a5 bishop d6 bishop e5 yes his plan is to simply move the knight away and if he loses this passer here the point is you don't need to take this pawn but you capture the b5 pawn because you are anyway going to win the d4 pawn with your queen and knight being here so also there is a pin there and um beautiful square is on c6 so sl narayanan is having a great position so i think this game if we have to do a round up right now sl has good advantage and nothing to worry in the next game if we go abhimanyu puranik is black and we had left it at uh, e takes d4 e takes d4 bishop d6 was played by abhid uh, abhimanyu and <laughs> played by abhid <laughs> okay editor ka itna itni bar uh, uh, pawn hua hai ki uske baad i think abhimanyu ka abhid hi ho raha hai but bishop takes d6 queen takes d6 and one bishop got exchanged so i think eventually abhimanyu who is quite an aggressive player uh, will go for castle might try for some central break but this is still in control very opening stage but look at the time difference ibara chami luis fernando uh, from mexico is having only 47 minutes and abhimanyu is having 1 hour 12 minutes so that's a lot of time there with him going to the next game adibans game uh the beast game but the beast did exchange the queens uh, very quickly queen d1 rook d1 knight c6 bishop bishop b5 f6 was played f4 because he defended the pawn right now there is a pin there and henderson went f4 
he also starts putting pressure once again the e5 pawn is hanging and adiban takes this pawn and he says yes you can capture my pawn on f6 so this game can get very interesting right now if henderson captures a pawn then adiban must make sure to first give a check an intermezzo check and then move the rook to f8 but in the whole thing his king on e8 could become weak with the rook there and with the bishop here so ad should be a little careful as of now henderson has a good move if henderson finds the next move guys this move knight e2 without taking the pawn on f6 knight e2 would be a very very strong move the reason is because the knight is jumping to f4 and d5 and f6 is anyway going to stay weak that can get adiban in trouble so it is the board where ad can get in trouble we will have to keep a watch going to the next game kartik venkatraman who if he is able to beat kaidanov then tomorrow then the next round he plays with nakamura now that's an amazing motivator there so knight e2 he did find this beautiful maneuver uh, his opponent goes knight d7 he goes back and not knight d3 and going back again so knight d7 was played kartik goes knight d4 and c5 by kaida now he finds this move c5 it's dynamic right now he has given up this pawn on b5 but he wants some play and by c5 he has opened this diagonal for his bishop and he says i don't want to keep defending in a passive way i want counter attack i want to give up material but i want some open diagonals and i want to play active chess bas ghar pe baithe baithe passive kya khelu main so that's what he's done with c5 and now kartik uh right now is a pawn up so bishop a6 this knight is pinned how should white continue guys every move is not going to be tactically the best move find a simple tactic or something like that but let me ask you your a question white to play what will you play yes i can definitely agree that when you look at the candidate moves now what are candidate moves basically they are the options we start before we start calculating one uh, variation in depth we first try to look at the position and find what are the moves to consider so when especially when your piece is attacked the natural candidate moves which come to the mind are a4 queen on this diagonal uh, and what else counter attack so yes most of you have suggested knight d6 a4 uh, both the moves but out of them only one move is a good move and that is why the question was not easy and that is the training for all of you guys to be in the shoes of these players who are playing the world cup to feel being in kartik's place where it is like if today you beat your opponent then you are going to play nakamura guys now imagine that you have to win this round so you meet nakamura isn't that exciting to kya kheloge that is how you have to think that is how you have to feel the pressure aise nahi ghar pe chai pee rahe ho popcorn kha rahe ho are aaram se koi baat nahi and then later on you are going to write how do i improve i'm stuck you can't improve uh when you are playing in such a relaxed state <laughs> okay so if you play a4 and support this knight takes takes and yeah i mean it's it's a game yeah it continues like a game black has some nice ideas with knight c5 knight d3 jumping in this pawn is isolated so it's a good position for black so that's the reason a4 is not a very good idea but all those who mentioned knight d6 is all of you are right important to consider this move many of you initially might have rejected by looking at the pin thinking that you lose the rook here but after bishop takes f1 
definitely not rook f1 but knight takes c8 now you are capturing with a tempo and after rook c8 you can capture this actually with the king this is not easy this was absolutely not easy and this position when you just compare the imbalances when you just compare only three pieces are there so the main imbalance is bishop versus knight and what else what else is the uh, imbalance can you guys tell me now this is a little bit of an intermediate question here one imbalance we know is bishop versus knight what is the other imbalance in the position Me. Oops, sorry, sorry, I just changed the position. Ah, uh, yeah. Ray, amazing. Oh my God. I'm so impressed. Hi there. Yuk, Son Yuk Sonigara, Srijan, Kaustub, Ablaze, Sankalp, Saumek, Ronit. well done guys this is uh, this is amazingly done you are alert absolutely important you can see the pawn structure is the major second imbalance because white is having this one connected pawn chain you can see that is one island and the other one is this um, this whole chain which is the other pawn island whereas black is having one isolated pawn the other isolated pawn because it doesn't have any pawns on the adjacent files to support it so it's isolated that means it's also weak and this is the third pawn chain for black so that's the third island so in endgame um, the more the pawn islands that means the more the weaknesses so that is the that is the slight advantage with white here because of bishop versus knight and the weak pawns okay going back to the game what happened was knight d6 did happen in the game and we are actually at this position now important is will karthik venkatraman take the bishop with his king or will he take with the rook because if he takes with the rook then c4 is right now happening and it will give black counterplay the question definitely remains why the same thing will not work here why c4 is not as powerful as it was when white was capturing with the rook so this is all in depth going in depth we will not go too much in depth we have a lot of games to see but in general to give you an idea here if c4 is played karthik can move his queen away attack this pawn an important reason is his rook stays on c1 which keeps the pressure on c4 and makes it difficult for the knight to jump to c5 because it will block the protection to the c4 pawn so that is the reason that you can capture with the king because the rook is needed on c1 so we will see what karthik plays right now it's an important moment for him to find king f1 so as to be able to press this position further okay going to the going to the next game going to sl so sl narayan's game d6 has been played and his opponent is thinking 
अभिमन्यूज गेम गोइंग स्लो विल कम देर Adiban's game, which is an important game, because he is slightly in trouble and he needs to really face his opponent. Bishop f six was played by Henderson, which is a slightly good news that his his opponent did not go for the ninety two idea. And Adiban develops and gives a check with his bishop. The king moves to e two. This king is also in the center right now, and Adiban will play rook f eight. So one advantage with Adiban is. that his opponent's king is also in the center and it can also be become weak so that is adiban he must fight back going to um, kartik venkatraman's game this is a moment where we are going to be thinking king f1 or rook f1 we will keep a watch guys what would you have played if you were not told about the intricacies in the game be honest and truthful and let me know in the chat Okay, this is Harsha's game. Ah, uh, we had seen how his opponent Levan, Levan, not Levon. It's Levan. He's from Georgia, who has played, who gave up a bishop in the opening for the knight, as we had seen. But if Harsha manages to beat him with white pieces, then Harsha will play Magnus Carlsen later. So that is going to be amazing. E five here, bishop d three. F four, yeah, we had seen until this point. Queen H four check, G three. The queen went back. Uh, Harsha castled, and his opponent starts with an attack. H five already. Okay, now that can get dangerous. Not so easy for Harsha. Look at his time. He's gone to thirty minutes, and Levan, who is a higher seeded uh, than him, only because of that one ELO. You can see. Levan has two five six four rating and Harsha has two five six three. Ah, uh, one hour nineteen minutes with Levan. So yeah, Harsha has a tough task here without any doubt. King F one, Queen D two, King F one, maybe King F one. Okay, that's good. If you guys would play King F one, I do think then Karthik will also play King F one. Going to Divya's game here. she has the uh, castle knight went back to e8 now that does look quite passive right now divya goes rook c1 her opponent goes knight c7 maybe the whole idea for her was to go knight e6 and challenge the d4 knight and right now divya decides to start with f4 so nice pawn advance over here uh, if you go a move like knight e6 Then there is ninety six, and unfortunately for bishop e six, you might do you have f five? Yeah, you have f five, and that looks really good for white. So Divya's position is nice with white. She started with her attack. Divya loves to attack, as we know. Divya very much uh, loves the move h four as well. So we will keep a watch on this game, and let's also look at Nandita's game. She that's also going a little bit slow. Rookie one, queen e one, c six, bishop f four. They are still developing one by one piece slowly, gradually. But Mary, who was in an absolute difficult position, is she able to fight back? Oh, okay. Look at this. Rook d seven, and her opponent plays knight b five. Her opponent recovers the pawn. The bar does not like it. But okay, let's continue and see why Mary goes a six right now, and once again, a uh, white to play. She is thinking still difficult, still a difficult position. Random thing says join just now. This layout is fire. Arre, kya baat hai? Abhi raha op. So that is the whole update. Now, shall we shall we bring the bars, guys? Shall we bring the bars? There is a surprise now, which I am going to bring in. Until then, I'll keep the position of King F one, which we have to yeah this position. 
बिकॉज यर इज एन इम्पॉर्टेंट मोमेंट वेदर कार्तिक विल प्ले किंग एफ वन और रुक एफ वन दिस इज एन इम्पॉर्टेंट मोमेंट फॉर एस टू सी एंड फॉर ऑल दो ज्वाइन न्यूली टूडे वी हैव अ सरप्राइज टू यू I am just bringing the those surprises right now. A moment there. just bringing out the bars for you guys so that at in one go we will be able to get the round up of what's happening in all the games Where I think I have, I have messaged Rakshit because some things um I don't know what I'm not able to do. But yeah, I think I will. Um, uh, I'll work it out, Rakshit. If you are in the chat, I am trying to update, but it's not happening. So if you can help me, that would be great. But let's let's see. Okay, and guys, Karthik has made the move. He played king f one. That definitely tells us. Look at this. He has one hour two minutes. Okay, and how much time did he think? He had one hour thirteen minutes. He thought for eleven minutes, and then he makes the move king f one, which means that he was he was very much thinking on the same lines that where should the rook be, and he has made an amazing decision here. This can be a big game changer for this game. now gregory has to be dynamic because this bishop is going to get activated these pawns are going to be in a little bit of a mess 
सो वॉट कैन ही डू ही मस्ट राइट नाउ प्ले सी फोर कंसिडरिंग दैट ही हैड गॉन फॉर द आइडिया ऑफ सी फाइव आई एम श्योर दैट ग्रेगरी एट दिस पॉइंट ऑफ टाइम विल गो फॉर सी फोर एंड कार्तिक विल गो क्वीन डी टू सो दिस इज समथिंग आई थिंक वी विल बी एबल टू लुक एट बिकॉज इफ नाउ ए फोर विल बी प्लेड ट्राइंग टू सेव दिस पॉन ट्राइंग टू अगेन पुश दिस पॉन लेट्स नॉट फर्गेट दैट बोथ आर ऑन द लाइट स्क्वेर फ्रॉम वेयर दिस बिशप कैन अटैक एंड द क्वीन विल जस्ट जम्प इन चैलेंजिंग द क्वीन एक्सचेंज ओवर देयर एंड दिस कैन गेट वेरी वेरी डिफिकल्ट फॉर ब्लैक especially if it takes here then the doubled pawn is also dissolved and imagine if something like you get this kind of a pawn chain white will be clearly better plus another advantage will be white king which came one move one square forward in a way in the end game it's near the weaknesses so that is also that is also a slight advantage so kartik venkat raman already in a better position with kaidano gregory that is a good thing for us let's look at adiban's game okay let's look at adiban's game because he has to really you know be careful and come out of all the troubles of his life so bishop f6 bishop b4 king e2 rook f8 his opponent played bishop g5 adiban is thinking what to do here um this pawn is attacked but it is also defended by one guy there so currently that's not hanging but a good idea can be to bring back your bishop and challenge this bishop for the exchange that could be a good idea there so yeah maybe adivan is thinking of that but the other idea could be can he go for something like king f7 sacrifice this pawn go bishop g4 check bring his rook to e8 because the king is in center so we have to see how adiban is going to think because the attacking possibilities are also quite tempting with both the kings in the center so i am sure that adiban will be able to create some dynamic play there uh, going to the next next game abhimanyu puranik yes as we did as we did have a look at it it's it's right now a slow game uh but abhimanyu is not in any danger sl narayanan who had a great position after d6 his opponent is still thinking oh my god can you see the time difference bap re 27 minutes for providence and sl narayanan has 1 hour 13 minutes crazy सेंडल नाथन से जायम पलनी जस्ट जॉइंड इन अनदर डिवाइस अरे क्या बात है यस वेर इज सागर सागर इज इन फिडे गाइज ही इज एट बाकू ही विल जॉइन अस फ्रॉम ही विल जॉइन अस सून फ्रॉम द सेकेंड राउंड नो ही इज नॉट कमिंग ऑन थर्ड ऑगस्ट ही इज कमिंग ऑन सेकेंड ऑगस्ट गाइज हाउ डू यू लाइक द ले आउट and how do you like the whole thing there uh, abhilaya op i was trying to bring the bars here but um yeah let me just make a phone call and i'll be back
very sorry guys i just had to figure out something so thanks for being there online and yeah i think it's now going to be working so let me just check it out but by the way in sl narayanan's game hello okay it will now got it ठीक है ठीक है थैंक्स ओके सो आई थिंक गाइज दैट इज सॉर्टेड वी विल गो देर लेटर आई विल शो यू बट लुक एट दिस वट एज एपन आफ्टर डी सिक्स ब्लैक गोज नाइट बी सिक्स राइट नाउ सो दिस पॉन स्टेज ही हैज चैलेंज दिस नाइट ब्लैक को बहुत इरिटेट हो गया था नाइट ऑन सी फोर है ही इरिटेटिंग विदाउट एनी डाउट बट नाउ एस एल एस एल आई थिंक इज इन हिज वॉट टू से इज इन हिज मोड ऑफ यू नो एज एज मच एज ही कैन कॉम्प्लिकेट एज मच एज ही कैन यू नो क्रिएट के ऑस ऑन द बोर्ड दिस इज वॉट इज मेकिंग हिज अपोनेंट थिंक सो हिज अपोनेंट इज ट्वेंटी टू हंड्रेड यू कैन सी थ्री हंड्रेड एंड फिफ्टी पॉइंट्स मोर देन थ्री फिफ्टी पॉइंट्स एलो डिफरेंस सो Your bishop g5 once again very strong move threatening bishop f6 g f6 spoiling the structure one of the ideas now that's going to be tough so I think S L is in top form right now and he is undoubtedly going to beat beat his opponent in this game. Um, Abhimanyu with black actually has got a good position. His opponent he's also made uh, to think and only thirty three minutes. That too in such a simple position for Ibarra Chami Luis Fernando. Iska matlab hai ki important moment. After this is only thirteen moves. What is Ibarra planning to do when Abhimanyu will suddenly start complicating the position, which definitely he is going to do. If you already see this move, Knight D seven, which was played by Abhimanyu, he is intending maybe. maybe f6 e5 could be in the air that is definitely something which should be uh, taken care of also he has let let lose the h7 point but right now nothing immediately is happening uh, queen e3 has been played taking uh, the queen out of the pin so as to go knight g5 that is white's idea but f6 just completely controls both the squares against this knight and it looks like a good move there okay going back going to the oops sorry for that going to the next game adiban's game which is right now the the kind of little bit of uh, stress for us we have to see whether he is able to find something here so bishop g5 no adiban is still thinking and figuring out things for for how to get out of the you know uh problems in this position and let's see what he chooses here he can complicate matters because white's king is there in the center and he can try to uh sa safeguard his own king so going to karthik's game because if he beats kaidano gregory karthik will be playing nakamura so king f1 ke baad kaidano has been in long thought yeah you can see already 12 minutes thought by uh kaidano he is thinking c4 obviously is the most natural move to think about he is thinking we will come back to the game later whereas right now harsha bharat koti whose opponent has played h5 complicating matters like anything they are playing crazy chess f5 gf5 ef5 kya ho raha hai but why is the king in the center being okay for black the only reason is the center central files are closed so you can see the rook cannot really penetrate on the open file there there is nothing and here black is trying to push his pawn open the king side create a mess over there so that is why it's okay uh, let's go to let's go to the let's go to divya's game i think she is she is playing a very very aggressive f4 was played and her opponent get scared of f5 so she thinks for a long time look she had 53 minutes and over here she thought for 
almost uh, 24 minutes and she goes F5. Now Divya is thinking because F5 is not a good move. You have weakened your king. This was not asked for and Divya has many many possibilities. But the first very question is if you capture the F5 pawn here, what is the opponent going to do? Is she going to take with the bishop? And then knight for the bishop in this open scenario doesn't look like a good idea. Which means that gf5 seems like a forced move. But then jumps the bishop on f3 and this knight will jump to d5. There are these weaknesses. The bishop on c8 cannot really develop. Not a good square for it to develop. Not a good diagonal. So all of it looks in favor of Divya. The only thing she must take care of. The, after e5, the pawns do not become uh, dangerous for her against the pieces. So let's go to uh, Nandita's game. Here as a roundup, Nandita, this is one of the another slow game which is going on. But as you observe in all the games which are going slow, the opponents of all the Indians are having very, very low time. So that's a good news for us. That's a good news for us. Can SL play 95? We will look at it. Sachin says SL's opponent is like me at age 8. Copy opponent as much as possible. <laughs> yeah, totally. Tot oh, maybe I read this comment. Yeah, I remember now. So this is uh, Nandita's game. Though very slow, very, uh, you know, it's very slight edge for her. Uh, because especially of this knight which has a good square it is eyeing for whereas the knight on f5 it's not as good as as well placed as the knight on f3 um, that is the reason the slight edge and a lot of edge on time so this is a big advantage let's go to the last and final mary and gomes ga game because mary has faced a deadly opening when her opponent was prepared with e5 and she did win a pawn but her king was in a mess and your mary played bishop b7 and landed up in big trouble after knight b5 uh, she played a6 and her opponent has been thinking now one good thing is at least they are equal on time and generally mary plays fast so it is possible that slowly she might you know start playing fast and who knows with this she might be a pawn down or she might have uh, been in a bad position but who knows lot of open files over here lot of open files one moment she gets development and she gets her rooks on these files who knows how much danger they can create so this is the whole roundup for all of uh, these are the eight games right which we are looking at i think nine am i missing any game Oh yeah, I think we have not seen uh, one more game. I think I have not added one more game. And that is Priyanka Nutaki's game. Priyanka Nutaki, I guess, is playing with Marina, Marino Brunello. Let me just pull that up. Yep. Yeah. Okay, that is uh, Ma, that is Priyanka who is black, and I guess if Priyanka beats Marina, then is she the one who is going to play Humpy? We will check the slides once again for all those who have joined new. But in this game, uh, Marina has Marina has slight edge, but this bishop we are keeping an eye on d4 pawn d4 is the iqp that's the isolated pawn knights are the best blockaders against the isolated pawn so this is the knight which priyanka is having which is definitely keeping an eye on any chance to jump to f4 uh, both the knights are nice friends over here as you can see and also let's not forget one important thing a beautiful long diagonal Guys, can you spot a beautiful long diagonal for black? Can you tell me which is that diagonal? Rakshit says, Amrita, just click on the fetch eval button for all the boards once. The server went offline for a few minutes. 
That is why it was not updating. From now on, it should keep working. Are thank you. I will do that. Let me check. It's saying fail to fetch. I'm saying fetch evaluation. It's saying fail to fetch. <laughs> Maybe I will uh, refresh and add the links there. Ah, uh, okay. Maybe I should not have refreshed, but okay. Okay, I can add some important. I uh, maybe I'll add uh, four links. Yeah, four bars today. That should be good. Let me add the first bar for S L Narayanan's game. By the way, knight b six, bishop f four was played by S L. and his opponent develops bishop g4 so that is the that is the position currently and can i actually get that on the evaluation bar as rakshit has said it should work right now so i'll be trying that and i'll also of course bring it to you guys because that's our biggest surprise today So when I say Rakshit, when I say fetch evaluation, it doesn't uh, update. Maybe it is a good idea to just show the people at least you know what we can, what we will be able to, what we are right now trying to do. Your guys, this is actually the surprise where we should be able to see the uh, evaluation at one place, but. when i am clicking on fetch evaluation here this is this is a problem rakshit if you are there i am not able to yeah so once it gets sorted let me know but until that time guys would you like to have a look at uh, who all are playing one more time a quick look how many of you are new or have no idea college companion thank you so much it's not working looks like it's okay but rakshit what is already guys uh, rakshit op because he has done a phenomenal job and uh, you know we we are only going to get improvements here but imagine we are going to be having all the evaluation bar soon at one time and maza aane wala hai bahut maza aane wala hai Harsha's time is a huge concern. Yeah, isn't it amazing that out of the nine games which are going on, ah, uh, almost majority of the games, the opponents have such low time. You see, S L Narayanan versus Providence in the roundup of time, only time. Okay, let's have a look at time. One hour for S L and Providence is having twenty four minutes. In Abhimanyu Puranik versus Ibara, Abhimanyu. Okay, Abhimanyu right now has thought quite a lot, so he's gone down to forty nine minutes. Ibara has thirty three minutes. Nevertheless, fifteen minutes more than his opponent. Adiban has fifty eight minutes, and Henderson has forty six minutes. Karthik Venkatraman has one hour two minutes. Oh, Kaidano is actually also playing pretty fast in comparison, fifty three minutes. Harsha Bharat Kauti is having only sixteen minutes. Okay, that is definitely a big trouble there. Levan has one hour five minutes. So this game, ah, uh, with this much less time, I think Harsha is under some trouble for sure because he must. Um, uh, no, it's not about forty moves though. But still, this time is definitely going to haunt him a little bit. Um. Uh, Going to the next game, Divya is having Divya is having how much time? Oh, she doesn't take the pawn on f five. She plays bishop f three. That's also a good idea. She has fifty two minutes, and her opponent is having twenty eight minutes right now. Well, is she threatening takes and winning a pawn here? Yes, looks like that. Divya is clearly better. 
and more having a lot more time nandita is having 1 hour 3 minutes her opponent is having only 20 minutes man in this kind of position this time difference is really important so nandita in the such symmetrical structure you know pawn structure which has queen side pawns on each side and um, four pawns here and three pawns on the king side this time difference sudden moment will come when it will all start getting sharp tactically and that point yanti yanki will definitely be under big trouble going to the next game uh, mary versus forgas Mary has forty-five minutes and Forgas has thirty-seven minutes, but this game is quite dangerous because Mary has been out prepared. So if Mary is able to bring up anything on the table, even a draw, that would be only a good result here. Going to the going to Priyanka Nutaki's game, she is having thirty-nine minutes and Marina is having forty-two minutes. So okay, Priyanka, Priyanka in this game has uh, almost equalish time. but yeah i think time wise we do have a uh, majority of our players do have uh, more time than their opponents there estel's game is extremely interesting bishop g4 has been played right now and he is thinking there is a pin down there what do you do now do you kick the bishop away with h3 and ask him whether you want to take the bish whether you want to take the knight or you want to maintain the pin that would be the question so maybe this is what sl is thinking right now but i believe that sl will not think too much uh, because he knows that his opponent is going towards time pressure so guys a question to you which game do you want to watch right now which game tell me any two games let me sh also show you in the meantime while you tell me which games you want to watch i'm going to show you here the you can see the eight players niche uh, vaishali prag vidit gukesh arjun nial hampi and harika they all have a bye in the first round and uh, they will be playing from second round they have qualified to the second round directly why because in mens the top 50 uh, are directly qualified for round 2 and in women's the top 20 25 are directly qualified for uh, round 2 so that's why you see all the top row is currently playing here so here we have so also if i go to the yeah sl narayanan if he wins today he will play either tisir mohammad or yuri kuzubo that would be the pairing and if sl narayanan beats even that second in the second round if he wins then he will play with gukesh actually he will play with gukesh very interesting abhimanyu if he beats his opponent today he will play against peter swidler tomorrow you can see here if adiban beats henderson then adiban will be playing against daniel dubo man that is exciting completely exciting if karthik venkatraman beats gregory kaidano then um he will be playing nakamura yeah as we know another exciting match up there if harsha beats levan then he will be playing magnus carlson and if divya beats um, azhar Puteri, then she will be playing with, uh, I guess Hong Than Trang or Abdi Zineb, the winner of their game. If Nandita beats Tianqi Yan, then she will be playing Oh Alexandra Koschenuk. Wow, that would be quite a strong uh, matchup. Maza a jayega. so this is important for nandita and nandita is having a lot of time right now her opponent is thinking quite a lot uh, mary this is yaniala forgas who has brought up some very nice novelty not novelty but preparation on the board 
and if mary is able to beat her then mary will play against katerina lano if priyanka beats marina brunello by the way that would be already an upset but she will then play koneru hampi by the way it is not just about winning a game today but it is also about uh, to in two rounds you have to score one and half so that is how it is wow yeah the it's all tough for indians for sure okay so these are the player uh, cards uh, done by abhidaya and let's have our thumbnail there once again and let's get back to our main board a move has happened h3 has been played and bishop h5 by otlotse Ot otlotse so now narayanan is now at an important moment what to do here to still block the pin and should he go g4 or what else guys can you suggest moves for sl sachin says love the graphics shout out to abhidaya and team yes sachin it's a uh, amazing work done by abhidaya here single handedly so beautifully done priyanshu says love the setup server is the setup and running says rakshit arre kya baat hai shall i bring the shall i also show if wait let me just refresh here fetch eval and we will wait for a moment maybe there will be 2 3 seconds of delay oh ho kya baat hai aa gaya hai well for sl versus olot se guys this is what rakshit singh op has done <laughs> so that is cool shall we add another uh, abhi to mujhe boards bhi by art ho gaye 40 fetch evaluation let's wait and check what the evaluation is going to be अरे क्या बात है इबारा वर्सेस अभिमन्यु गाइस लुक एट दैट बार ओवर देयर माय ओनली वरी अरे रक्षित व्हाट इफ द चैट फॉरगेट्स अबाउट द चेस बोर्ड एंड ओनली कीप स्टेयरिंग एट द बार फिर क्या करेंगे हां देन कमेंटेटर्स कैन टेक अ ब्रेक सो इमेजिन आई वांट टू टेक अ ब्रेक आई ओनली कीप वन चेस बोर्ड एंड आई कीप the whole bar is on the right and then either wait ke i can have dinner that sounds good okay you can see henderson versus adiban also updating oh maybe people can't see let me just aha that's cool that's cool this is such an amazing thing yaar too good so maybe i'll have four evaluations okay guys and in between i will uh, have them present and absent वैसे वाला okay right now i've already added 3 i'll add all Okay, there we have Karthik Venkatraman versus Kaidano. If you can see, Shrija is saying, "Aaj pizza khane ka mood ho raha hai." So, there is baat ki. <laughs> okay, we have four bars right now. Maybe I'll add another one. Last one for this. Fifth one. and guys you can look at this bar over here now it will update with the name you can see white and black that will change yeah that has changed harsha versus levon and uh, yeah here we have 
so if i add the bars even for the women game uh, which i will do a bit later but right now this is the or maybe i can do we will get a good round up let's get a good round up now that it is working why should we not use it this is divya's board round up ke liye we will not even have to go to the boards it will be like already the bars will कमेंटेटर उसका काम बहुत कम होने वाला है इज द बोर्ड नंबर दिव्या आई डोंट रिमेम्बर नाइन्थ एंड देर वी हैव लेट्स सी दिव्या देशमुख ओ लुक एट हर इवेल्युएशन टू पॉइंट फोर that's that's amazing divya is winning this is already giving us a great idea of what's happening and another one guys this is the first day thoda idhar udhar thoda sa idhar udhar hote rehta hai so do bear with me Oh my God, Nandita is losing. No, 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 no. It was a wrong move, which, which to auto khela gaya tha. I think transmission maybe. Queen D two, all fine, all fine and under control. It's thirty fourth board and thirty fifth and thirty sixth. They are playing back to back. So yeah. चांस टू फाइट बैक विथ वाइट दैट्स अ गुड थिंग and then the last one priyanka okay so we are having all the bars right now and what i will show you once is all the bars at once so that we just get a round up Okay, I can't show. All. I'll have to scroll. I can't show all at once. So this, these are the bars. S L Narayanan slightly better. Abhimanyu Puranik almost equal. Adiban is in trouble. Uh, Karthik has very slight edge against. Oops, Karthik has very slight edge against Kaida now. Harsha and uh, Levan. I don't know if it is updated or it is equal right now. It says unclear. Divya is clearly better against Azhar Pune Puteri. Nandita versus Yanti Ankit says it's equal right now. Forgas versus Mary. Mary is in big trouble. Actually, Mary is almost losing right now. Aha. Okay. Rakshit, you might have to help here uh, later. But I think this is some. Ha. Huh, this is the uncaught error, runtime error, which we are facing. maybe later tomorrow by maybe rakshit you could check out this but this was amazing at least we all got a glimpse of how it could look when we have all the bars and in time pressure how it would work so guys that was the bar bar dekho <laughs> maybe i think rakshit maybe i am adding too many bars maybe we can keep only 3 or 4 bars so that could be good Okay, so let's do this. Saurav says, "Can you please analyze the position without engine?" Yes, I will try to. I will try to. Shall we look at every game, guys? Please. And now I am very much dependent on you. The game you tell me right now, I'll go to that game. When you tell me go to the next game, I'll go to the next game. And whenever we go at any game, let's try to do this. You suggest moves, and then we will analyze. How do you like it? Which game should we see right now? I need your opinion. Ah, 
एस एल नारायणन दिव्या आदिबान दिव्या 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 आई थॉट समबड़ी एट स्पैम बट नहीं इट सीम्स लाइक इट्स नॉट स्पैम कूल सो दिव्या आदिबान एंड एस एल सो एस एल गेम वी आर वी जस्ट सॉ राइट नाउ दिस इज एस एल गेम एंड ही प्लेड आफ्टर बिशप एच फाइव ही प्लेड नाइट ए फाइव ही हैज He is threatening knight b seven right now and asked his opponent how are you going to support this this guy over here. So this is SL's game. Slight, very slight edge right now. Black has black has to find queen b eight, which looks very unnatural. Queen d seven looks very very natural. And then who knows if SL has any plans of something super rash like g four? That would be very crazy. So this is SL's game right now. going to uh going to the next uh, yeah the next demand of the chat adiban's game this is adiban's game right bishop e7 he played uh no adiban played bishop e6 he's uh, he developed his bishop simply also making sure that this diagonal if without the bishop if the light square bishop is deflected black king could get in danger with the double bishop here so a uh, white king sorry so bishop e6 henderson simply develops the knight to f3 adiban goes a6 attacks the bishop bishop takes c6 check adiban takes the bishop back with the pawn and a knight jumps to e5 attacking this c6 <coughs> which is the isolated pawn now and <coughs> sorry adiban plays rook c8 defending this pawn you can see knight c4 is stopping bishop c4 check knight e5 is stopping bishop c4 check so henderson is playing very solid and strong and not letting adiban create counter play yet <coughs> let's go to divya's game yeah Divya played uh, bishop f3 and here her opponent played bishop d7 defending against the threat of e f5 and losing a pawn there Is Magnus playing Magnus is uh, not playing in round 1 of course he is playing in the tournament he will play in he will also play from round 2 so bishop d7 and divya is right now thinking uh, she can take on f5 here and once again as we have seen force g takes f5 the whole position in itself is good for her uh, develops she can develop the queen bring her rooks on the open files and basically play against the weak central pawns and the king as well so this is divya's game divya is also clearly better uh, abhimanyu okay next demand we'll go to abhimanyu's game here uh, we saw till knight d7 with the idea of f6 queen e3 was played and abhimanyu actually doesn't go anything like f6 he simply goes rook a b8 now that is a little bit of a surprise because i did think his idea was to go f6 but after rook a b8 maybe his plan is completely different he wants to play b5 so his opponent goes a4 and firstly stops b5 abhimanyu here goes bishop g6 challenges this bishop light square bishop here going into two knights versus two knights so it's an end major pieces and double knights when you have knights what will be very important is okay this exchange is happening uh he'll of course take hg6 because fg6 will weaken the pawn on the open file will become a backward pawn you don't want that so he will definitely take with this pawn which will capture towards the center and keep this pawn chain intact so when you have only knights 
what is an important thing to keep in mind when you have knives and when you are so dependent on knives what is it that is very important for the knives how do you start thinking for your knives Mayur writes, closed positions for the knight to enjoy. And if you reach an end game with the knight, pawns on one side of the board. Okay. Yeah, that's definitely there. But another thing, because it's not when you have knights and you know when this imbalance has been created, you don't know the position is closed or not. If It could be an open position as well. But yes, Priyanshu, outpost. I mean... What is important is when you have knights, you see the knights on these ranks are not going to be that active. Your knights need to advance on good squares. So finally, they will need to find some important squares in order to start putting pressure. So like here and especially whenever the square is supported by a pawn, we know that those are the squares to look out for so that knight has a solid support. This is how... When it is a battle bit, battle with the knight and we are so dependent on knight, we try to find those weaknesses and that's how we try to maneuver the knights. So in this case, it's a double knight. For white, there is this nice square on e5. There is also c5. The problem is once this knight is on e5, you cannot kick it away with f6 because the e6 and g6 are very, very weak. So that means... The square is right now white has, uh, you know, easier access to those good squares. That's why Abhimanyu will need to be a little bit alert. And that's why maybe the plan of exchanging the bishop immediately was not the best. It's not bad, but uh, uh, yeah, it, it may not be the best. So that is about the knights. Let's go to, we will slowly have to start shifting soon. We are coming here to Karthik's game who, if he wins, will have a great chance to play Hikaru Nakamura. C4 happened in the game. This is something which we were discussing. Queen went to D2, attacking the isolated pawn. This guy went to, no, this guy did not go to A4. That was in the analysis which we were looking at. Kaidano went Knight B6. Knight B6 here. Defend also, uh, you know, defending this guy there, and also later, maybe he might threaten knight d5. White goes queen d4, attacks this knight here, and if the knight moves, he's also asking, What are you going to do with the c4 pawn? But Kaidano says, I am not planning to move the knight, my whole plan is to take care of this one little guy. That's it. The whole focus is this little guy. For black, it is like a prodigy. He's, he's make, going to make sure that he doesn't lose this guy. And here now, Karthik goes e4. The bar has the bar is saying the position is equal. It's uh, you know equalized right now. Whatever slight edge white has, he doesn't have it anymore. Uh, e4 was quite a committal move because you have closed the diagonal. At the same time, e4 is very tempting because, you know, f5 looks very, very uh, aggressive here for the, against the black king. So that's what Karthik is doing and he's gone e4. So this will get very, very sharp very soon. Going to the next game with Harsha. Who had very less time and he's now come down to 8 minutes. Whereas Levan has 51 minutes. Though the position which Harsha has got in the last few moves. Look at this what he did. After f5. Okay I. Yeah. After f5. Is it individual or team? It is an individual uh, game. 
it's not a team event sorry after f5 f6 was played by levan and computer says that it's a very bad move in fact almost a blunder but uh, not easy to know why guys white to play wow your harsha had a very nice move i i don't know whether you guys will be able to find it but worth a try white to play chalo this is the time be in harsha's shoes if you find this move imagine it's almost an entry towards playing the next round with magnus carlson kya hi i love how chat is so uh, excited when they see a very very tempting move this is sendel nathan shankara debanjan aryan abhinav pokan vivek not vivek vivek also sabko dena hi hai kuch i like you guys are givers here knight f4 dena hai so that e f4 marne ke baad rook e1 is the threat but bichare sab bichare ye dekho bar dekho it was like as as soon as the move was played you would be like oh my god what did i miss what did you miss exactly that's the question what did you miss e takes f4 now all of you thought okay rookie var aa jayega there is a pin there but obviously black has a defense and what's the defense what is the defense yes correct absolutely simply knight comes to e5 and you might have thought g takes f4 i don't think you have thought firstly i don't think you might have thought bhi nahi hoga <laughs> but if g takes f4 black to play once again this is the moment which if at all you would have thought then this is what you missed dekhte hai how alert you are this is a position which pen and paper chahiye arav shri abhinav jay yug sandal tanushka shankara oh ho 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 fatafat fatafat chat active ho gayi suddenly i think i have not been asking good questions until now but knight f3 check and there you have what a beautiful move here it's a fork and if you capture it's also a deflection there you will lose the rook तो पिन तो गया है मतलब तेल लेने सो यर इफ यू लुक एट दिस पोजिशन नाइट एफ फोर आई एम श्योर लुक एट वॉट यू गाइज डिड ओके यू सॉ दिस मो नाइट एफ फोर देन यू से ओ ये कान टेक इट एंड लुक वंस माई नाइट रीच इज ई सिक्स एंड जी सिक्स वाओ वॉट अ वॉट अज फाइन स्क्वेर दैट इज इट्स लाइक द नाइट गोइंग टू समेयर लाइक मॉलडिव और यू नो ब्यूटिफुल प्लेस देर एंड बस उतना देखा और खत्म but this is what you have to make sure that you consider the ideas that your opponent is not your friend after takes when you are looking at rook e1 you don't just look and stop there you have to end the calculation at your opponent's move so rook e1 ke liye if you were looking at this variation you had to see knight e5 you cannot leave your calculation here at this point once knight e5 goes then you you are seeing here there is still a forcing move so just say suppose you still take here once again as we know it should end at opponent's move and that's the reason you would have found knight f3 but i doubt if anybody saw this but it was a very nice position to exactly show you guys if you have missed this then what exactly you must take care in the future so f6 so this is what knight f4 was not the right move but rook e1 was the good move rook e1 i yeah rook e1 then knight f4. yes vivek yes you you guys are right rook e1 and this is something which harsha had such a beautiful chance because the problem is look at this pin 
Night F4 is unstoppable because you might say, oh, I'll move my queen, but fir bhi there is a pin on the king. You might move the king, but fir bhi there is a pin on the queen. And you had such an opportunity to bring that knight, you know, it's, it's like flying in life. So knight F4, this is what Harisha has missed and it's going to bite him very much. He goes king H1. He goes king H1. Maybe, maybe with the ideas where finally there was this knight f3 check. Maybe he has seen something in knight f4 but uh, <clears throat> not rook e1. Then queen g7. Now this was a smart idea because if right now Harisha plays rook e1, then you can simply go knight e7 and now there is no pin idea of knight f4. It doesn't work. You just simply lose the piece. So this was important. So he goes rook, he goes queen g7. So Levan did see that idea and Harsha now goes knight g1. Still a very nice maneuver. He is eyeing for knight f3, knight h4 and knight g6. So that is his idea. Knight goes to e7. He, go, he brings his knight to f3. Queen goes to g4 and here Harsha finds a nice move. Guys, white to play. Can you, can you find a move which Harsha has found without looking at the position? Rashi says, good luck to all our champions. Array. Thank you, Rashi. And all those who found rookie one really well done, yeah, because it just, it's not about it's being easy or difficult. It was a move which required alertness to discard the idea of knight f4. Harish says Harsha is a very good player without doubt, without doubt. Okay, all of you are, many of you are suggesting the move knight h4 and you want to exchange the queens because knight h4 was a plan but the point is the reason what the move harsha found next one and the reason why you don't want to exchange the queens right now is maybe because the king is still in the center and maybe it can get weaker than your own king harsha finds this backward move generally backward moves are moves which are difficult also Bishop e2, a very nice idea. Firstly, the question will come, what if queen f5? Because you have simply given up a pawn. You have simply given up a pawn. But there is a lot of, lot of, you know, thing happening there. The knight will jump to g5, e6, bishop h5 check. Rook is, you know, just opening up. And the whole thing, now this development for Levan will completely bite him. So bishop e2, a very smart move played by Harsha. Now this h5 is an isolated pawn. Do not forget that the h5 pawn is isolated. So black is definitely in some kind of uh, trouble here. But Harsha has only 8 minutes, whereas Levan has 43 minutes. So that trouble on the board, whereas the trouble on time. Now that's the battle there. Which trouble will be more trouble? <laughs> That's the question there. So this is Harsha's game. But Harsha can actually, um, Har for Harsha, this is a very important game because he's white. So if he needs to beat Levan and with white, this is his chance. Otherwise, tomorrow it may not be as easy with black. Let's quickly go to, this is Divya's game, by the way. Now that we are here, a few moves they did play ef5 was played by divya and gf5 by her opponent no sorry divya did not take on f5 she directly played knight d5 her knight jumps to the center um black plays knight e6 she takes on e6 bishop takes e6 and divya makes a very very nice move b4 crushing uh, on all the sides here, even on queen side, she has started pushing her pawns. The idea kicking this knight away 
because if you look at this knight it has nowhere to go except for the edge of the board it has no nowhere to go so b4 the king went to h8 b5 and her opponent takes the knight on d5 bishop takes d5 has been played now divya has a choice whether to take c takes d5 queen takes d5 or oops e takes d5 guys what would you play this is of course a better position no doubt but what would be your decision would it be to take with the c pawn or the queen pawn or the e pawn let's try to compare it with divya's decision what do you like more isn't divya losing a pawn here no how is she losing a pawn <clears throat> C takes d5, queen takes d5, c takes d5, queen takes, Achha, major confusing confusion is between c takes d5 and queen takes d5 and also many times principally we say capture back with a piece if you can, right in the center, so but of course in this case all three are possible moves, uh, I am sure that many of you like c takes d5 more because it opens up the c file uh, i think divya will play queen takes d5 for a few reasons one is she develops her queen the other is this knight is anyway attacked and it needs to be moved and there is pressure from there is pressure everywhere from this queen so that is what i think so bishop takes d5 this is the position and divya is better she has 34 minutes Azar Puteri has 14 minutes going to SL Narayanan's game because that was very very the most interesting game which we are looking at what happened in the end and they have made many moves in fact knight a5 was played knight bd5 by Otlotse he attacks he jumps with the knight in the center attacks the bishop on f4 Narayanan takes back his bishop Otlotse also takes back his bishop and attacks the knight on a5. The knight simply goes back to c4. In fact, very happily attacking the bishop on b6. Bishop goes to c5. What are they doing? Is Otlotse thinking that SL is going to uh, repeat the moves? But no, SL has no such ideas. He goes g4 and this is the timing. Look at SL's timing. The bishop is attacked. He has exposed his king a little bit, but very confident that it is still safe. So bishop goes to g g6. Uh, bishop takes g6. H takes g6, and here SL goes queen b3. Develops his queen. Uh, currently, queen takes b7 definitely in the air, and black is thinking only ten minutes with Otlotse. Only ten. 22 moves are over. If this had 40 move rule, then Otlotse would have had to do 18 moves. But of course, uh, they don't have to make any 40 moves or anything. <clears throat> I would uh, show you once the... Let me show you the time control here. This is the time format. Oh, no, oh, they have, sorry, sorry, they have 90 minutes for the first 40 moves. Then 30 minutes to the end of the game. With a 30 second increment from, oh, okay. I did make a blunder. <laughs> I did no 40 move rule. Okay, fine. But that's going to be long game. So if tied, then you can see so many playoffs are going to be there. We have to see. Will any Indian reach a playoff? Okay, there we are back on the screen. Adiban sacrificed the rook. That's what Vidit Shah says. Oh my god. Let's let's look at that. Adiban, Adiban. Rook C8 was the last uh, position which we saw. 
His opponent goes bishop h6. Adiban moves rook. Bishop g5. Oh, Adiban should be okay with a draw, of course, because. But here, Henderson goes bishop g7. Henderson, of course, doesn't want a draw. And Adiban's rook is actually trapped. It cannot go here. It cannot go here. It cannot go here. So it's not a sacrifice. It's trapped. But the reason he's okay with the trap is, and this is very good for him. This is a great news because he goes rook f7. And after knight f7, maybe what Adiban has in plan is bishop g4 check to win this exchange back. Oh, this is getting interesting. <coughs> <coughs> this is getting chaotic. What do you think, guys? Can Adiban fight back? The 40 move rule is there. Yes. How many moves they have done? You're in this game also 18 moves left. But I think not much of time difference. So Adiban. So guys, if knight takes f7, firstly... King takes f7 in this position. Adiban is an exchange down. So you can see bishop versus bishop. Rook versus rook. And this rook versus this bishop. But he is an exchange down. But right now what is his threat? <coughs> one is to attack this. One is that this bishop is hanging. And the other one is to give a check. And there is an x-ray. So to win the exchange back. So when his opponent will go back with his bishop. Adiban will get back the Adiban will get back the yeah Adiban will get back the exchange here king goes here and takes and takes and if if at all he exchanges the if at all no oops sorry that's a blunder he'll have to go king c2 if at all these exchanges happen then it will go in a <coughs> bishop endgame where finally his last move will be like he'll save this pawn and material will be three pawns equal material will be equal so this will have a great chance to draw so i think one option is this in adiban's game the other one is if adiban gives a check directly without capturing are we going towards the same thing almost by bishop takes d1 rook takes d1 and here you don't have a check because knight takes so king f7 and the bishop is attacked if the bishop decides to stay on this diagonal the whole uh, advantage with black is that with bishop on h6 it stopped g5 but here you can easily defend a pawn with g5 so i think i can say that we have a slightly good news that adiban is has actually fought back because with black, if Adiban can hold hold his opponent, then with white, he will have great chances because he was definitely in big trouble. So that's cool. And not YouTuber says Adi will fight back. Harish says Adiban got tough opponent among their rating. Yeah, among everyone. Okay, the rating is very near. Awesome, awesome. That is cool. So uh, that's the good news. Let's quickly have a roundup. I think we are going towards a lot of time pressure moves. E4 was played in Karthik. Now this game for Karthik is important because he will play Nakamura in the next round if he is able to beat his opponent. Rook D8. Queen goes to E3. King G7. King. Oh my God. Look at Karthik. Even with the queens on the board, he is fearlessly bringing his king in the center. Queen goes to c6 and Karthik is thinking he has 34 minutes. They need to make 10 moves. So I don't think time pressure is going to be an issue for either of them. But Karthik's king and now with the pawn on e4, his bishop. It doesn't seem like, you know, the in the minor piece, it doesn't seem like the bishop is still better or uh, anything. So, um, both the pieces look like equal against each other. But the pawn on c4, I think this is the only hope for black which is helping him to keep control of the position. 
ओके क्वीन सी सिक्स दैट्स कार्तिक्स गेम इन टाइम इफ टाइम प्रेशर हैपन्स देन एनीथिंग कैन हैपन गोइंग टू एस एल नारायण गेम ही हैड प्लेड जी फोर बिशप वेंट टू जी सिक्स ही हैड एक्सचेंज एंड आफ्टर क्वीन बी थ्री ब्लैक वेंट बी फाइव प्रोविडेंस प्लेड बी फाइव ही इज अटैकिंग द नाइट एंड एस एल एड फाइन अ नाइस काउंटर अटैकिंग मूव ही गोज रुक ई वन फर्स्ट अटैक्स द क्वीन आस्क सिम वेर द क्वीन इज गोइंग टू गो द क्वीन गोज टू सी सिक्स कीपिंग द डिफेंस फॉर द बी फाइव पॉन एंड एस एल इज थिंकिंग वन मोर टेम्पो फॉर एस एल गाइज वन मोर टेम्पो कैन यू फाइंड अ टेम्पो वेरी वेरी इजी वेरी इजी मूव वेरी इजी क्वेश्चन देर फॉर ऑल ऑफ यू वाइट वॉट शुड वाइट प्ले very great broadcasting the screen presentation live and live board is looking very eye pleasing sheshanaz are thank you so much uh, all up with our op guys do you like the webcam thing which i have the black and uh, whatever effect uh, that thing do you like that yes knight e5 It so was a very easy question, but important that tempo was also with knight a five. But that's at the edge of the board. So knight e five, just taking your knight more towards the center, and it's a good move there. The queen is attacked. If this queen takes on d six, then uh, what should white play, guys? White to play once again. A lot of questions upcoming now, so be careful. अमृता जी आपने चेस खेलना क्यों छोड़ दिया यस आई स्टार्टेड फोकसिंग ऑन चेस विद इंडिया इसीलिए यू नो व्हेन यू हैव टू प्ले चेस यू नीड टू वर्क यू नीड टू प्रैक्टिस रेगुलरली इट्स लाइक वॉट एवर लेवल लेवल यू हैव इन ऑर्डर टू मेंटेन यू कैन नॉट जस्ट गो एंड प्ले टूर्नामेंट्स यू हैव टू बी इन टच विद द यू नो consistent practice is very important <clears throat> wow i like how well the chat is like completely when they see anything tempting they just don't leave a chance for that and nightbot says disco diwane <laughs> nightbot well done um uh, yes night i mean there are many ways to clearly get better in this position by the way knight c5 knight c e5 has happened in the game sl has played that move and after queen d6 knight f7 most of you have suggested this and well that's a very very good move because if king f if king f7 there is bishop d6 here so it works first you can also play g5 so in general knight c5 you cannot take the pawn i think uh, providence will go queen b7 or something but then g5 is incoming ah this is such a bad position so sl narayanan is beating providence in this round with the white pieces and very very smoothly so that's a good that's a good update on board 1 i mean game 1 for us out of the nine games on this uh, second game abhimanyu's game abhimanyu is black he had we had left last after g6 and we were looking at how the knights are slowly going to um, get good spots for them so b3 played by ibara a5 by abhimanyu queen g5 actually ibara is playing amazing chess um, rook e8 has been played and rook e3 so ibara bringing all his forces towards the king side for this king making sure that right now there is not knight is not on the f6 uh, and taking care here but we will see whether the attack will have any uh, strength or will abhimanyu be able to break on the queen side 
and get a faster attack and faster entry on the queen side so this 29 minutes for abhimanyu and ibara has 9 minutes ibara must make 21 moves in 9 minutes so that way it is extremely difficult for him <clears throat> rakshit is calling hello Ah, okay. Got it. Got it. Oh. Okay. Thanks, Rakshit. Okay. Bye. We will, uh, yes, we will have, I think he's fixed the bars. So we will try that again because in time pressure, it will be very difficult to move too many games. But yeah. <clears throat> Okay, so that is Rook E3 here going to the third game as we saw that we have nine games for India Indians today playing. This is the third one Adiban as we saw he has been fighting back Bishop at six. Oh, his opponent did not even go for Knight F7. So can they actually is it actually a draw? Why has Adiban played Rook F6 because could he have asked uh could he have claimed a draw look at this guys after bishop h6 okay this was 19th move adiban played rook f6 so this has been for this position if we have to look at a draw photographic draw then rook f6 once it has happened bishop g5 rook moves back bishop h6 rook f6 twice it has happened bishop g7 rook f7 and bishop h6 and here adiban can actually claim a draw Adiban can actually call the arbiter and tell him that I'm going to play rook f6 and it's, uh, you know, it's repeating for the third time. So it is going to be a draw. I do hope Adiban will um, claim this draw or will he not? What do you think? Why knight f5 was not played? Okay, that's a good question. We'll check that out. Sagar ji third ko nahi second ko aayenge. <clears throat> Vinod, we have a full article on leeches on chess. Biz India, you should check it out for sure. It's a very nice one. Okay, Adiban actually claims a draw. Yes, and... This is a draw, so his opponent repeated and it's a very good result because there was some trouble and finally it was still leading to uh, equal position in some way. But um, with black pieces, that's the first game for us ending today with a draw and with black, so that's a good one. Now tomorrow Adiban will be white and if he beats Henderson, then Adiban will have Daniel Dubo as the opponent in the second round. So that's a good result for us. And uh, <clears throat> this is done. Uh, let's go to let's go to Karthik's game, who is playing against Kaidano right now. They are still in a very unclear situation, we can say, with 31 moves. Queen goes to c3. Right now the threat is queen takes a5. Kya karega black? What is he going to do? But what I see is queen c5. You know, black will try to keep his uh, pieces on the dark squares. And the bishop is on the, is the light square bishop. Just look at this bishop. It needs to come out. It needs to become active in some way. But here the pawn stops him. Here it cannot come to a4. The knight on b6 stops him. And it can go to a2. But... Because no more the pawn is on e3, d4 square has been loosened up. So all of these things are there. And to play f5 is his, you know, that is the point where he must, con like right now, can he play f5? Unfortunately, black is getting his pieces uh, in time and rook d4 would be a nice idea. Even if you go a move like f6, the problem is eventually e5 will be lost. <laughs> So Karthik actually could come under trouble. 
going to Harsha's game because I think after Bishop e2, he was getting better position and as we know, Harsha's next round opponent would be Magnus Carlsen if he beats this guy. So, Queen takes f5 has been played. Oh my god, this is one of the most interesting games we are right now looking at. Knight g5. <coughs> Look at the rook. Everything. They are now completely unleashing their powers. The queen goes back. The knight jumps to e6. Oh my god, and not the best idea. Why? <coughs> What should I have Harsha played here? Guys, white to play. <clears throat> Mayang says, why isn't Hari playing? Yeah, it's a little unfortunate that he, uh, he is not qualified for this event. <clears throat> Such a strong player. Yes, Rajdeep, Ravi, Sendelnathan, Santosh, Soham, Saurav, Ishwar. Bishop d3 was an important continuation. Still kicking this queen off, attacking this queen. Because if you go queen g7, then you see there will be a tempo with knight e6. You cannot go queen f7, queen g7, queen h7 where is the queen going to go so not a good square there and here you provoke f5 so that is the that was the main whole main point there to provoke f5 he's gone knight e6 directly he's threatening knight c7 check right now but black uh, black can actually give up an exchange and say that yes you can take my exchange you can take your I can take here and my king is running here and I am having good enough compensation. So that's how it is right now. Harsha versus Levan. Extremely interesting game. Only 7 minutes to Harsha. But in the last few moves, he has still played very fast. So that is a good news. So we will come back to this game. Going to the next game, Divya Deshmukh. What did she play? Oh, she took with the queen. As we were looking at and we were expecting, many of you had suggested suggested queen takes d5 as well. So, uh, knight went to a5 <clears throat> over here. The knight defends the b7, b7 pawn and she goes bishop d4. She says, I want to exchange that one guy, one guy who is, you know, protecting you. Bus. Tumara king ko akela karna hi hai. Rook goes to c8. Rook goes to e1. And Azar Puteryu develops queen to c7. Now Divya is thinking. Divya is thinking here. Definitely she is uh, planning to open this at some point now. With the rook. That's why she brought her rook on e1. And she is also going to take on g7. So mostly either of the move is expected in her game. But she's clearly better. Uh, I don't think Divya will be worrying. Oops. What is this? Ah, what just happened? <clears throat> so I don't think she has to worry about any ideas with knight c4. At least as of now with such a deadly pin there. So that is Divya's game. I think very positive uh, year with 28 minutes. And only 5 minutes for her opponent and... Her opponent needs to make 21 moves in 5 minutes. Man, this will get exciting too. So we should also watch this. Uh, <clears throat> the next game, yeah, I think it got auto-updated. Auto so we kind of lost uh, the board numbers. But okay, we'll find them back. So Nandida's game, her opponent was thinking quite a lot. But uh, she has 45 minutes. This is going really, really slow. Okay, we will have to come back here later. Um, let me go to Priyanka Nutakki's game. She is, she is black. She's fighting. She's developing her pieces. It's isolated pawn. Uh, here, this is protected with her knight. She's fighting here. <clears throat> that's, that's good. 
and Mary and Games, Mary and Gomes, I think the game where she was in big trouble, almost lost after a6, it's her opponent either is still thinking or yeah, it cannot be a problem, right? Because yeah, it's uh, it seems like after a6, uh, how long has she been? No, there is some problem. Maybe, maybe it is stuck. Maybe this uh, game is stuck. So we will have to come back here later. Let's let's look at SL's games and guys, if any other game very, very interesting and if I'm missing it, please let me know. Rakshit says Divya's opponent is playing very poorly. Why knight a5? Did that move have any idea? Okay, let's look at that game and let's look at the question by Rakshit. Queen d5. So why knight a5? What else are you planning to do? If you, you cannot go here, you cannot go here. Uh, you can go your knight before attacking the queen, but then the knight is trapped anyway. I think the position was uh, very, very difficult for black anyway. Um, you might have to find something more like a counter-attacking dynamic ideas. Maybe e6 <clears throat> giving up the pawn there so that you jump in with your knight and these ideas but if you look at the position which has already been reached that in itself uh, with some weak moves being made this would be very difficult to even find as a counterplay so i think uh, she played knight f5 which was a natural course and right now we have reached this position of queen c7 there <clears throat> Yeah, I think about Mary, Mary, it is not updating, I believe. So we won't be able to see. I didn't see the knight over the attack direction. I remember why. Because that was attacked a move before. So you kind of forgot about it completely. Sakar says... Uh, hmm... He was helping Ju and Jun. Oh, by the way, guys, look at Hari's interview on Chessbiz India. Sagar took it because uh, Ju and Jun became the women's world champion and Hari was the second. So definitely look at that. Okay. This is SL Narayanan's game. It is almost, I think, coming towards uh, after Bishop D6. What happened in the game was Queen B7 was played. We did, saw knight, we did see Queen D6 was not possible. Knight F7. Uh, so he played queen b7, g5 was played, finally bishop takes d6, this d6 pawn which was like the whole man of the match in this game, finally that's out of the board, uh, Otlot say captures it, uh, sl plays g takes f6, wins a piece, a full piece, g takes the f6, oops, let me bring the bar for you, and SL Narayanan is clearly winning. Providence has only two minutes right now. Shall we stick to the end of the game? Hari says Indian chess community will never forget Vishi, Hari, Abhijit. All these people are pioneers of Indian chess. Absolutely true. Aka says, why is in Samai streaming? Uh, he has a lot of shows and everything going on. So, he's got very, very busy. But I am I guess he's planning a lot of things as well related with chess. So, yeah. He's not out of chess for sure. That is something I can tell you. Oh, by the way, I should update Adiban's result because it was a draw. Oops. <clears throat> I 
so adi uh, so sl narayanan right now actually is not playing maybe i should update there sagar had given a very nice idea if somebody is clearly winning he said put it as slaying <laughs> not playing so i have updated sl narayanan as slaying right now and adi oops oh everything changed to draw i think i oh my god got it i have made a big blunder ah now i understand why sagar had told me to make a different layer okay guys i think i won't be able to update this because i have messed it up a little bit so something still to learn i'm not an obs pro so i will do that <laughs> because it's kind of a five minute thing and i'm sure like for five minutes if i keep doing that it would look very crazy maybe better is that i actually remove these what do you think yeah better to remove this okay so rook d8 has been played narayanan has, okay narayanan is just simply winning do you want to go to the other game it's okay boomer we will wait 5 minutes <laughs> yeah sagar is uh, if somebody is losing then to change it to praying so that i'll have to only replace the l with r and if somebody is clearly winning to write as slaying so praying and slaying for winning and losing so that's a nice idea but i will need to be an obs pro there okay going to abhiman news game all oh, some things have happened there because after queen g5 Abhimanyu played rookie eight, uh, rookie three. His opponent started attacking. His opponent uh, is twenty four hundred. By the way, quite strong player. Then, his opponent went h four, h five. What a nice idea. G h five. He is actually putting pressure on Abhimanyu. But now the queen jumps into f four, and oh, if this knight moves, then rook h three. God. uh abhimanyu will definitely need to be alert 20 minutes but 5 minutes only for ibara ibara needs to make 17 moves so this is something very exciting going on adiban's game has been a draw for all those who have joined now kartik's game kartik is slightly getting into a tough situation queen b5 right now by kaidano kartik is thinking uh yes this all thing if we now go back we realize the pawn coming to e4 actually was not the best idea unless you knew you wanted to go f5 otherwise it is more of a hindrance because it took away a nice square of this bishop to maneuver so this is kartik's game very unclear with 15 and 16 minutes each harsha versus uh, levan and oh this game a absolutely exciting game here <clears throat> Knight e six is he played? What did his opponent go? Yes, his opponent very alert. Levan goes knight b six. He is giving an exchange sacrifice. So this is going towards a chaos. By the way, Harsha has only one minute and he has to make twenty one moves. With every move, he has thirty um, seconds, right? So. he can he find a4 here that would be an amazing move basically kicking this knight away very typical with the knight on b6 as well so it's not a new idea but at this moment may not be very easy harsha because he has only 1 minute shouldn't think much simply should take this exchange away with knight c7 knight a8 what will he play 40 seconds we should stick to this game right now because If Harsha manages to beat Levan, Harsha will be in contention to play with Magnus Carlsen. Ishwar says, "Hello, Amrita. It's nice to see you again. Doing commentary, are you? Ishwar, I have been here. I think uh, in the last month as well. So I will be here." <clears throat> Pranay says we can have color as well, red, green for oh that's such a great idea because the main problem is we don't want to type. Oh that is a great idea, awesome. 
Bishop d3 played by Harsha. He does not go to win exchange. But now for Bishop d3, it is important that Levan must find a move, a defensive idea. Guys, black to play. This is the next move. If you guys can find, then maybe Levan can find. But if you guys cannot find, maybe it is not as easy. Okay. Did I just roast you guys? Yes, I did. <laughs> Oh, yeah, I definitely like this color idea, yeah. Uh, green for winning instead of, oh, that is a wonderful idea. So, only green and red. If it is white, then it's a draw. But there will be too many images. <clears throat> Rahul says, oh my God, just came to know about a FIDE World Cup. Can you explain what is happening and is the World Cup not following the format? where one country plays against the other country. No, that is Olympiad, where one country plays the other country. This one is World Cup. It happens once in every two years. This is the 10th edition. So you can imagine it started 20 years ago. And it's, um, it's quite a long tournament in a way. It's a marathon tournament. Uh, it will end on 24th August. We have 17 Indians qualified it's not easy to you know be a part of world cup that way 17 indians qualified out of uh, you know the total in total participants are 309 so you can imagine how difficult it would be <clears throat> and a few of our players today have a buy because they are qualified directly to round two but we still have nine players playing. You can see their photos on the left and right uh, in open section. You can see SL, um, Abhimanyu, Adiban, Kartik, Harsha. These are playing in open and you can Divya, Nandida, Mary and Priyanka in the women's section. So that's, that's it all. By the way, Guys, we have, um, as Rakshit mentions, Help Chess Organization is an initiative by Chess Biz India. Supports talented chess players lacking funds. Join us in making a difference. Donate now at Help Chess. Yes, you can see a small widget there where uh, four days ago, Ganesh Arvind has sent 5,000 rupees. And uh, it's, it's amazing how each one of you is coming together to support the Indian chess. And this amount goes to the talents. Um, so do think of contributing there. E4. De yeah, exactly. You have said F5. And uh, Devil, Ronith have said E4. Guys, thoda socho. Baut kam soch rahe ho. I think you might be hearing my bud bud. But side by side, you should be able to find a move as well. E4 is the right move. If. Levan finds it, then Harsha will land in some trouble. But if Levan will play f5, then that would be a big mistake because of the next move which Harsha will also have to find and you guys will also have to find right now. So f5 and e4, between these two moves, definitely one of them was right and one of them was wrong. That's the reason Levan is thinking. But Harsha has only one minute. Guys, white to play or if Levan plays F5, that would be a mistake. Because of what reason? Can you find it? Not easy. Thoda socho. Seriously, sincerely focused socho. White to play. Wow, these are okay. Let me check chat chess moves. Uh -oh.
nops but so many moves you guys are saying so many i am really enjoying the number of candidate moves which we are getting because majority of you want to play bishop f5 okay majority let me not make the move because tum logo ko attack se samajh jata hai bar kya bol raha hai so bishop f5 is one move which majorly you guys are saying then bishop g5 is another move knight c7 yes knight c7 definitely i agree that it exists and bishop g5 kahan se aa raha hai pata nahi but yes bishop g5 queen a4 whoever has suggested is a blunder because knight a4 ho jayega so not possible and uh, yeah majorly these are the moves which you guys are suggest oh rook f5 a few people so bishop f5 if you play what is happening knight takes f5 you have given a full piece you might intend to win back but you would get nothing you get nothing bishop g5 yes it is supported with the knight so you cannot take it but that's the whole point ye bishop dependent ho gaya hai knight pe dependent that means bishop e6 threatening takes to tumko bhi idhar marna padega and then after d takes e6 over here once again this is like a what to say devastating for white so it was not easy if after f5 the good move rook f5 was the whole idea but who has found it who has been the first one to find it krish sangvi by the way knight c7 works it's it's a it's a decent move rook f5 is the best move and oh my god not many people have found it narendra pande rachel parera very few you can see it is such a tough move so can harsha with one minute find it or even levan can he consider it for f5 rook f5 so what happens for knight f5 the whole idea is guys the whole idea abhi let me make it easy for you white to play let me make it very easy for you i hope 100 people can answer this abhi abhi chess shuru kiya hai to bhi you can answer it if you are playing for many 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 years to bhi you can answer it if you are very old to bhi you can answer it if you are 3 years old to bhi you can answer it if you are drinking chai and popcorn to bhi you can answer it why to play abhi itna easy kiya hai come on guys Neeraj says, "If you are dead, then we you can answer this." I I think yeah, all the boots can also answer this. Very easy question, and there we have all the chat. None of them is uh, no. एक ने तो आंसर दे दिया गलत. Ameya कठाले, wrong answer. I know. Fork बोला तो ये भी तो fork है. But the right thing is knight g seven. and then you win the queen that was the reason why rook f5 was an important move but many of you had suggested bishop f5 as well and your question would be isn't it the same year because uh, bishop f5 knight f5 rook f5 it's the same but the problem is knight e6 ka this bishop right time ke it will irritate white by capturing that knight away so that is the reason so bishop d3 by harsha has put levan in a in such a tough spot look at him he had in the last two moves from 39 minutes he first took 20 minutes to find his knight b6 move and then after that he's he's thinking another 10 minutes so uh, oh harsha is having only 1 minute do okay but still the gap has reduced quite quite a lot so if f5 then amazing but i believe oh no he finds it levan finds the best move here e4 was an important move and now harsha has 26 seconds 
he must play fast at least he must take care he doesn't lose on time a few options for him he can give this check he can attack the queen or he can simply pull back the bishop to e2 but if bishop e2 then yeah this knight which was one of the key key uh, person in the whole business gone साकार चेस्ट इज रॉयल फोर की खुशी में थाउजेंड लाइक्स कर दो दोस्तों एंड गाइस यस वी आल्सो हैव दिस लाइक लाइक द स्ट्रीम प्लस वी हैव लाइव सब्सक्राइबर्स वी हैव रीच ट्वेल्व लैक थर्टी सिक्स थाउजेंड टुडे एंड आवर टारगेट एट द एंड ऑफ दिस इवेंट इज टू रीच थर्टीन लैक सो इफ यू आर लुकिंग एट द स्ट्रीम एंड हैव नॉट सब्सक्राइब प्लीज डू सब्सक्राइब let me get the bar if i can okay so he plays knight c7 he harsha has played knight c7 and right now king d8 would give a very very powerful position to levan so harsha is definitely in trouble why queen takes f5 and not queen f7 in the rook variation okay i guess your question was your if f5 if rook takes f5 knight takes f5 bishop takes f5 why not queen f7 but then you have already uh, lost material no no rook f5 knight f5 you have not lost material correct that is a good question because uh, white is still an exchange down the reason i believe the, the reason i believe white still had advantage was that the queen jumped to d3 taking advantage of bishop g6 so that was the reason but moves are happening so we will come back to this later very good question knight c7 king d8 knight a8 knight takes a8 but guys come on here it was important for levan to go. i mean it's difficult and so unnatural here you have to find h4 but here e3 was not unnatural for whatever reason levan takes back the knight and harsha simply pulls back his bishop he's he is still fine right now that's what the evaluation bar says that this is still in control and very very complicated anything can happen with the time pressure uh, 23rd move so 18 moves 17 moves to be made in one minute harsha has such a tough task there but he is uh, an exchange up he is an exchange up but levan has extreme attacking possibilities here with h4 with the knight or the bishop coming in ha ah, not easy most exciting game of today i would say Gropery says I played against Harsha twenty twenty two. That game was how equal, equal after thirty moves. But some blunder played by me and I lost. Got it. That's cool. Are the bars working? I have to check. Uh, let me check very quickly so that that gives the round up. But Bishop B two played by Harsha. We will stick to this game right now. so that i can also get the uh, at least 2 to 3 bars yes the bars are working oh in fact there you see right now we are looking at sl's uh, game and there we have another evaluation for abhimanyu and abhimanyu is better that's the good news that's a very good news for us let's add another one 
Adiban has drawn so yes Adiban's game has ended in a draw and there you have Karthik Venkatraman still playing an unclear game right now wow looks like every oh my god Narayanan's uh, evaluation guys 11.8 it's still it's just winning look at this right now we have we have this bar how do you like it okay so we have these four games can we quickly have a look at harsha is right now in a, in some trouble okay let me have the four bars for now okay and i will switch a little bit he plays bishop h3 was played by levan and harsha went rook g1 maybe maybe rook f4 was a better idea because it kept an eye on the e4 pawn as well as it kept an eye on h4 though h4 was not stopping because here you have to be careful about these mating ideas one thing which white has is the knight on a8 needs at least some time to get back okay rook g1 has been played knight b6 harsha has 30 seconds once again he plays bishop f4 the whole thing is in 30 seconds whenever harsha has 30 seconds he has to not blunder that is the most important thing Finally, the bishop has developed on move number 25th after a long time. So that is a good thing. Attacking the d6 pawn and black will have to defend this because this pawn, losing this pawn is not at all going to help black in any way. So yeah, this is Arisha's game currently. I think most exciting one. Narayanan has mate. Instead of that, we can have the bar. Oh, Narayanan is winning. Okay, we will we will change it now, the bar for some other board. But by the way, oh, Narayanan has won. That is the second result for us today after Adiban's draw. Narayanan played an amazing game, very smooth. So he has won. This game is over. If we go to uh, Abhimanyu's game, you can see Abhimanyu is better. In fact, white was attacking but now Abhimanyu has managed to have this open file for himself and slowly the knights are going to jump forward. So Abhimanyu is better. That's a great news for us. Uh, Adiban has drawn uh, Karthik versus Kaidano. Most interesting game, like most exciting in terms of result because Karthik will play Nakamura if he can beat. So this is why. So a draw is a good result for Kaidano, uh, but it is right now, you know, Kaidano is in control. So Karthik really must uh, try to find something or we will see, we will see. No, it's a little bit of difficult situation there. In this position, Harsha has played, Harsha's opponent played f5. Bar says no, not a good move. And Harsha very quickly plays rook b1 brings his rook on the open file pins the knight this cannot move but my question is could he not take on d6 what was ah no 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 sorry f5 was actually supporting d6 now my question was a blunder so rook b1 has been played by harsha in the meantime because uh, narayanan is winning let me as rakshit says change the um, Yep, wait, let me change it. Oops. Oh yeah, I think I need some time there, but um, we'll do it. We'll do it later. We'll do it later. I want to focus on the games right now. So let's go there. Also need to update the result. King c7 has been played. Oh my god. Harsha is getting a better position after all the drama which was happening in their game. This is going towards Harsha's favor. The only thing he must take care is when you have such a huge amount of time pressure and you have been playing under time pressure for a long time. Only thing you must take care is not to make a big blunder. That is the most important thing. So, yeah, 
we are going to stick to this game because the time pressure is crazy here i'm just going to update the result for narayanan yes that's a draw there and sorry that's a win there he played queen b3 once again harsha finds another good move because here on the king side he's saying what are you going to do my rook is on g1 if imagine you play h4 here i don't care i don't care if you open this file because actually it is me who is getting benefit out of whatever you are doing so that is what the rook on g1 did and suddenly harsha is exchange up having two bishops suddenly the knights are really very passive and harsha has a plan there with a4 a5 incoming and he's clearly in a way he's winning harsha is winning oh my god that would be a huge thing because levan is a very very strong player and to beat him is not easy plus look at the time gap now kind of closing 4 minutes to levan harsha still has 30 seconds let's go to divya's game divya is having a better position but not yet cannot yet say clearly winning but she is definitely having a huge advantage um especially you can see the bishop in the center very strong bishop dominating this knight you can see the knight which is on the edge of the board it's it's the place where you just don't want to be it's like going to a hotel um you know for some work and not having internet there what are you going to do that is this knight right now and divya if you count the material five pawns azar puteri has four pawns so divya is a pawn up uh, with a beautiful bishop so this she will manage to win without any doubt let's check very quickly nandita what is happening this still i think something is stuck here something is stuck in all these last few boards so we should be uh, right now following harsha's game once again i should update divya's uh, maybe the, i should update divya's link there Okay, Harsha's opponent has come down to two minutes. That is amazing. Yeah, there we have Divya's. Oh, why again did it change? yes so here we have right now the evaluation bar is guys you can check there what is happening in the other games as well based on those bars but we have this very very exciting game with harsha versus levan right now queen b3 what is levan thinking because how can he make any kind of progress no pawn break no real good pawn break no knight maneuvering also immediately like the knight on g4 if even if it had to come it's still going towards an open position suddenly slowly so it's oh it's a big trouble for levan <laughs> study table as to why narayanan is shown playing with a bot Aryan says Botswana bot. Priyanka Nutaki drew. Ah, okay. So let me update the result here. By the way, oh, but after Queen B three, oh, maybe the time changed. Like five minutes, uh, it's showing. He played knight e c eight. He played knight e c eight, and for Harsha, the next move was uh, very obvious: a four with the idea of a five. Now, and Harsha is clearly winning. But because twelve moves are remaining, and both of them have one minute each, can never say anything until the end of it. So a four, a five is the threat. 
white is going to take the if the queen reaches b7 it's all over how is black going to stop this idea will he play a5 here if he plays a5 that's the reason he supported this but then the queen enters further with queen b5 threatening queen a5 you cannot defend this the main issue for black is that he has no threat on king side that's the main issue he has no counterplay there Prakshit says, once I'm sure the bars are working fine, I'm working on a feature called blunder alert. Whenever the eval changes by plus two, it will give a sound alert. Wow, maza a jayega. Plus one bhi chalega. <laughs> Amazing. A5 seems to be the only move. He goes bishop g4. Levan goes bishop g4. And Harsha doesn't, Harsha is now gaining more time. In fact, Harsha is now having 1 minute 12 seconds. Whereas Levan has reached to 30 seconds. Oh, they had played an amazing game. To be very honest, both of them, the first half of the game. So, it's going to be a heartbreak for anybody who loses this game. Because you miss the chance to play Magnus Carlsen at the end of it. So, yep. Yeah. So queen g4 takes takes and now go 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 Harsha a5 yeah he, he just doesn't have to think anymore but queen f3 check is there is there a danger over there queen f3 you have rook g2 there h4 h3 okay Levan will try to create some mess here some mess but dek there by the way if you look at the eval bar is over there If you look at the eval bar is over there, you can already see what is happening. And there it is almost getting over. Knight goes to d7, a desperate attempt. Queen b7 check. King goes to d8. Firstly, now Harsha's major pieces are completely uh, massacring this king on d8 now. Simple plan for Harsha, moving the queen away so that the rook enters the seventh rank. Oh, that is how even SL's end position, if you see the queen and rook on the seventh rank and there was a mate. Is it going to be anything similar over here? But this is all over. Now, this is a position where you cannot blunder. That is for sure. wow okay so guys maybe maybe we will see harsha versus uh, magnus carlson in the round two let me not let me still wait until it's over but rook f1 e3 why did harsha go rook f1 though i'm a little confused why did he have to stop this maybe he was scared of still these threats was it because queen c6 was pretty strong but yeah when you don't have enough time you don't want to allow something like where you can be under mate, mate threat so e3 okay this pawn is definitely trying to create some counterplay right now and you cannot play queen e3 uh, bishop e3 because you will lose a piece there so you have to be a little careful you cannot take there but e2 is a threat what is he going to do he's down to 20 seconds Okay, still it, there is chaos. It is not as simple practically to, you know, he plays queen b2. Harsha goes back with the queen so that it, another piece in the defense so that if e2, then there is rook f2 and a pawn is attacked. Luckily, this is all under control. So, and now rook e1 is the threat. So, queen b2, that's a safe move over there. But can this knight now jump in? to e5 let's see what levan is going to play but this is the currently most critical game that is going on karthik's game is also critical if he beats kaidano he has great chances to uh, face nakamura but it doesn't seem that his position is in favor of that 
by the way abhimanyu has better uh, has an advantage and divya has advantage is increasing so you can right now see the bars there on your right rakshit op guys rakshit op yes he plays rook e8 eleven now threatens e2 but you can go rook e1 and uh, stop the threats but 36 seconds kya karega harsha will harsha be thinking ki are this game magnus ke sath kya hoga mera or will harsha right now i have no fraction of second to think about anything else apart from this moment by the way kartik's game has ended in a draw kartik versus kaidano has ended in a draw actually that's a good result because it no i mean it's a he's he was white so tomorrow it's like a desperate situation for him if he wants to try and win okay there is of course a tie break as well yeah kartik's game is ended in a draw now harsha is playing right now he plays rookie one uh, but i think if it is true then he came down until 3 seconds actually he had 3 seconds when he made this move rookie one so only now 7 moves left guys 40 moves need to be completed here so 7 moves left can you show the bias game maybe we can have a quick check yes why not he oh divya is crushing it divya is absolutely crushing it with her bishop and her rook i think they are going to create some mating net right now already with rook g1 check uh where is the king going to go oh rook g rook g2 but now just take your take your give a check and win the pawn and in that way she is just too many pawns up so divya is winning let's stick with this game because it's really really interesting to see what will happen and the problem is because there is still some uh, chaos here if you make a blunder anything can happen so rook g2 here with harsha maybe i should change divya's not yet Oh, do I have to refresh? Ah, yeah, I have to just click there. So you can see Divya is just simply winning. Karthik's game has ended in a draw. I'll change that. Oh, Abhimanyu is clearly winning. Abhimanyu is winning. But we will go there right now. I think last four moves. Let's just look at the time pressure scenario here. King G one. He played. Remove the king from the pin. and now he threatens rook takes e2 rook takes e2 rook takes e2 he is winning a pawn and once this pawn is gone from the board the counter play is gone because it's also the open file there so it will be over queen d3 yeah you can just simply take you also have a check here Oh look at this this is such a nice idea giving a check the king if it goes here then going a6 with the idea of a mate yeah rook e2 is of course a good move works safe simple harsha is winning there guys sagar is in baku he is uh, doing commentary on fide right now this right now here we are majorly focusing on the 17 indians who are at the world cup is this the main event yes of course it is the main event ah divya won that's the news for us divya has finished her game wow so let me just update the result
ओके रुक जी एट बट ना इट्स ओवर नो रुक जी एट हैज बीन प्लेड दैट्स जस्ट सब लास्ट फ्यू डेस्परेट मूव्स टू ट्राई एंड रिटेन द रुक सो दैट टू ट्राई टू क्रिएट काउंटर प्ले बट नॉट वो नो हेल्प बिकॉज what is he going to once again now white now that he has safeguarded everything here can go queen b7 and start with his plans oh queen b7 is pretty strong do you have any ideas with rook e8 rook e8 rook e8 king e8 and queen c8 check yeah that's just the threat with queen b7 he plays queen b7 and now this is one idea to keep in mind the other idea guys a very nice idea very very nice idea rook e8 is not actually no i don't think a good idea but look at this bishop g5 check what a cool idea if you go rook g5 then find a checkmate in one guys all of you can calculate blindfold bishop g5 check final move if rook g5 the question is white to play and checkmate shashank says 18 indians don't forget anish giri <laughs> wah rook e8 yes he finds it bishop g5 and the question which i had asked if rook g5 rook e8 is a checkmate so not possible his opponent goes knight f6 and Harsha plays queen f7 now with the threat of checkmate because there is a pin so rook e8 rook e8 and a back rank checkmate is in the air cannot really stop it actually time to resign by levan a resignation will happen soon so what a what a finish harsha was able to maintain his cool and calm in time pressure brilliant completely brilliant harsha win this game he beats levan pantsulia with the white pieces in this game which means the next game a draw means he has gone to round 2 which is against magnus carlson but if he loses tomorrow then it goes under tie break so yes this game but one of the most mazedar game we saw this is divya's game divya has also won uh kartik drew his game Okay, which game now? Adiban also drew his game. Narayan Abhimanyu, Abhimanyu is winning. Let's look at Abhimanyu's game. Whoa! Look at the white king there. Okay, finally one. Oh, Abhimanyu is exchange up. That's why I was wondering where is one knight gone. But Abhimanyu is right now an exchange up. Plus this pawn on g four looks beautiful, making the knight on g one super passive. नाइट जीवन का कोई जीवन नहीं है अभी के लिए सो एज वी नो द टिपिकल जीवन जोक्स प्लस फाइव फॉर हर्षा नो हर्षा वन मयूर हर्षा जीत गया आई थिंक एवरीबडी इज एक्साइटेड फॉर हर्षा वर्सेस मैगनस सो वो होने वाला है ही डी टेक सी फॉर योर अभिमन्यु हैज वन मिनट ओफ बट दे फिनिश्ड फोर्टी मूव्स सो नाउ दे गेट थर्टी मिनट्स By the way, let me update the result for Harsha. Yup. So Abhimanyu is kind of right now slaying. Only one game going on in the open section. What What about Nandita, Priyanka, and Mary? The games were stuck. We will check if you know that has been now fine, but. Uh, what i can actually also do is this uh i think 35 yeah mary is so priyanka we have mary we have and uh, abhimanyu we have we need uh, to have one more game i'll bring that on the bar oops you cannot even see it right so on the bar okay there we have for now 
D takes C4. Abhimanyu has played his opponent is singing. Maybe it's a little bit stuck, but maybe he resigned or what? If he goes B, because if he goes B takes C4, then this A pawn, A pawn is the rook pawn. And as we know, the rook pawns against the knight pawns are just very, very dangerous. So that's why I don't think white will take B takes C4. White will take most probably knight takes C4. But then... Uh, Queen d5 check is uh, looks very powerful there. Yeah, queen d5 check looks very powerful. Leeches, I think it's connecting. Yeah, this has not happened yet. It's d takes c4 is the last move. I think it's stuck, but let's wait. It will get updated. By the way, uh, to check if other games are stuck or going on. 17 moves in Nandida's game. It's going on. This, no, they are all stuck. They are all stuck. Are they stuck for you all also or only for me? I am not sure. But Knight C4 has been played by Ibarra versus Abhimanyu. I think we will stick to this game for now. 28 minutes to Ibarra now. And Abhimanyu has 1 minute. Rakshit says they are gone for dinner. The bars are working, right? Yes, Rakshit. The bars are working over there. I just have to click sometimes like on that page so that they get updated Birada asks, what's the difference in being a world cup winner and a world championship winner Birat, you should know that from world cup like world cup already the number of players who are playing are all qualified it's already very tough to be playing the world cup and from these the top Three will get qualified for the candidates tournament which will happen next year in 2024. And from that candidates, the champion will play the world champion. And if he beats that, if he, the current world champion is doing and if the new candidate champion beats that world champion, then he will be the one. So world cha that is the difference. Like that is so many steps away. Best Design, Design Award. <laughs> yeah, Knight C4 and Puranik Abhimanyu is thinking right now. I don't think he would be thinking. Um, let me refresh it. Yeah, at least we have it. But I think he must have got 30 minutes. So maybe after 40 moves, sometimes you try to get up from your board. You go for a walk and that kind of a thing. Miyamoto, long time. I'm good. I don't, I don't, uh, I have not by hearted the list of who is playing, but you can check out on the official website. Night Seeker, I think it's stuck. Is everything stuck? Guys, can you help me by letting me know that is Leecher stuck for you for the women's game? Uh, which we are right now trying to see. Priyanka and Mary and everybody's games. So this is Mary's game and after A6 it has been stuck. So is it the same for you? Because it cannot be 15 minutes for four guys. So that would be great if you can let me know. But oh yeah, this is getting updated. Abhimanyu's game is actually getting updated. It's not stuck. So Queen D5 check by Abhimanyu and Ibarra is thinking. Um, what can he play? Only two options. One is King F1 and one is F3. But one question to you all. If F3, if F3, how will you continue the attack? A question to you guys. How will you continue the attack? What are the moves you can you think of? Hmm. 
By the way, guys, you might be wondering why is Magnus Carlsen playing World Cup if he is not interested in playing World Championship. But I guess Magnus generally tries to, you know, there are some tournaments which everybody wishes that he wins them. He wins uh, that tournament. And World Cup is such an event for Magnus. He has not been able to win the World Cup until now. So, so that is the reason for him. It's a... Uh, the goal is to win the World Cup. I think last time Duda beat him in 2021. How will you continue the attack is the question. Think of it. I am going to be back in a minute. Quindy 4. Quindy 4, many of you had suggested actually for F3. And uh, yeah, you're winning a pawn and um, F takes G4, like maybe he wins the pawn back. Very possible. The position is better. But he decides to first go rook B8 with the idea of attacking this guy here, B3 guy. I think the whole thing he wants that once this gets rolling, it's going to be over. Somebody, did anyone say, yeah. Cropery says, suggested rook b8. Got it. Rakshat says, while the top three also qualify for the 2024 candidates, the top 50 who include world number one to three 
Magnus Fabiano are seeded directly into round two. By the way, also very interesting would be imagine if uh, top three qualify for candidates. But if Magnus is in top three, then even the fourth person might get a chance because if Magnus might say I don't want to play candidates, then if uh, Nepo Nepo also finishes in top three. Nepo anyway is seeded for candidates. So that is an <laughs> so maybe it could also be possible that if Magnus and Nepo both top five could get selected. It depends on who is in top three according to that. Mayur says with Magnus Nepo Ding finishing top three. If Ding was playing, then four, five, six will get selected. <laughs> I doubt if all the even if they are on top to in this kind of a tournament to be able to survive being on top is a challenge. But guys, what's up in your life? It's been actually I think today we did not get any time to talk because. It has been so many games, day one, so many new things. But I hope that all of you really enjoyed the uh, whole uh, layout and everything. What this time we have tried new things plus these bars with we are trying. Rakshit has worked so much and at least we got a glimpse of how it could be. Let me just update update also the other boards. Is it all working for you guys? This is uh, something I'm a little bit confused. I don't, I think it's stuck. The other games are stuck. So at least for four guys, it shows seven minutes. And I believe that for ASICs, nobody will be thinking for such a long time. So that doesn't seem likely. Oh, this is a draw. Priyanka Nuteki with black pieces with Marina. She has drawn, which is a great uh, result from black because her opponent was higher seeded. And if tomorrow with white pieces, if Priyanka is able to uh, beat her, then she will play with Humpy. <coughs> so that's a draw. Let me update the result. So it was working. So only Mary's game is stuck. And uh, I think we had to see even Nandida. Nandida's game is also stuck. So Mary and Nandida's game is stuck. This is Abhimanyu's game. I think all the other games are over. Does anybody know like in the video or something if Mary Mary's game is over or something by chance scorecard is a little wait let me even uh, now maybe we can move the bars because it's not no games are uh, up, being updated so I'll just remove the bars now yeah Scorecards, uh, no, right now I think we have updated everything. No, Ab Abhimanyu is right now playing. So, oh, it seems that he's on zero means he's lost. Got it. So, I think it should be... Yeah, that's a good point. It cannot be zero, na? So maybe I'll change it to P for now so that we'll know that he's playing. Uh, 
Ah, maybe I'll just put this. Star. So that we know it's going on. Yeah, this is a better thing at least for today. I think tomorrow we will do that, do some improvement. But uh, right now I think at least people will not get confused that uh, zero because all other games are over. So with star, it will help to understand that the game is going on. Yep. Keep it blank. But no, if I keep it blank, the problem is I will um, have to add the layer and all of that. Again, it becomes difficult. Can we have Chennai Chess Olympiad layout? But here the main thing is uh, so many players are playing. So every day whoever will be playing, what we planned is those those people will be here. So you would know who all are actually playing. That's the reason. So it will keep changing every day. Udit says, if Magnus says, no, I don't think four will get selected. I think third participant will be as per rating as on 31st December. Mm, I'm not sure. Are you sure about it? Okay. They have played a few more. Queen E4 is played by Ibarra. Ibarra did play well, huh? From Mexico, actually. I, you can exchange queen takes. Or you can just simply first take on f3, then exchange. Yeah, he takes. We'll take here. Oh, but rook takes b3, there is knight a5, right? If you go rook b3, will this give any fortress chance for white? But uh, maybe there is a better idea for black uh, to continue a rook b4 with the idea of a4. You cannot take here. And if you take this, the whole point is actually not to care about this pawn, but to win both the pawns so that you're not anyway worried about this pawn with their when your rook is there ah this could be interesting okay so fe4 gf3 yes right because gf3 was also a good idea you could have played gf3 of course not knight f3 because you lose the queen that would be a big blunder <laughs> but after queen f3 actually queen d4 was also there but you know getting the queen and the knight is a dangerous combination though here it would not be possible to you know with the weak king uh just i think you feel a little safe with the queens of the board now there is no chance for white to create any counterplay rook b4 there he has played with the idea of a4 um uh, this is the best I mean, you have to take here because there is nothing better you can do. Is Neiman playing? Ah, that's a good question. Lenin says, ma'am, I completed the Silman's endgame, complete endgame course that you recommend me two weeks ago. You already completed in two weeks. It's a very thick book. And 200 pages of free SS. Oh my God. Okay, Lenin. So did you... Do you remember anything? Like if 
it has a rook and bishop versus rook and game do you think you will be able to checkmate you will be able to uh, find the uh, winning ideas and also the defensive ideas but this is amazing what you've done already end game requires a lot of revision consistent revision okay tell me what is your uh, biggest learning from reasses blazing torch says some of us have studied chess for years of course many of many of us i guess but that is like really a consistent effort rakshi says my first web app project i was so busy making this from 25th that my phone screen time came down to 40 minutes from 3 hours in the last 5 days also got back <laughs> okay i can uh, rakshi Well, a lot of things I have to say. First is phenomenal job in what you know the whole thing you got engrossed in and what you did and what you could do in such less time already, just completely brilliant. So you are a genius. There is no doubt. Next is amazing that your phone screen time got reduced. You can see like if if we actually every day build something little by little. how much we will be able to build so that is one thing and the third thing is this is something uh, very bad because you got back ache and you had to take care by focusing on the fitness it's a part of it so uh, yeah now you have have to take care so night night if i rugli for rugli for by the way that's happened on the board this is what abhimanyu is trying to do getting rid of the both the pawns so that it becomes easy for him but uh, let's see then how that blunder alert sounds like an exciting feature which you want to add maza aa jayega bahut maza aa jayega imagine we are looking at 10 games and imagine they are all in round 3 and all and oh yahan pe blunder wahan pe blunder time pressure mein Rashi says, "What does the star mean? The game is still continued. Yes, the game is still going on right now. Three games. At least we don't have the results for three games. This is one of the game, Abhimanyu's game, and he is winning. Ah, uh, he is winning right now. But the game is not over until it is over." <clears throat> Lenin says, "Ma'am, my biggest learning from reasses your chess is that the material is just one of the imbalance, just like any other." Kya baat hai, Lenin? Amazing. So now you know that whenever you will lose material, you have to, uh, you know that how much you will be able to find the resources to fight back. So that's cool. Rakshit says the happiness that comes from building something, and if that comes used to someone, made me realize that this is what I want to do. क्या बात है क्या बात है Factolic, please do not spam right now. You can write once, but do not spam. This is very very true. Whatever we do, however best, but once it comes for use for other people. it has a different uh, different taste altogether similar like jo log those people who love to cook when they cook amazing food if they keep eating it themselves that's one thing but when others get the taste of their food that is so much happiness on their faces
when is when it's match by the way all if you see the thumbnail guys to make it very easy for you abida has made it very easy for you in the thumbnail all the top row all the players in the top row they are all playing today and all the players in the bottom row they are all qualified to round 2 so they are getting bye so that means they are actually traveling uh, today or something like that i would love to show other games as well but they were stuck so that's the reason i i should check once uh, by the way in the last few moves after rook d4 the knight went back he took the pawn and king went to f2 now this knight will uh, start coming in the game knight e5 there so abhiman you will win this game uh, oh mary oh mary won what Oh my god Mary has managed to win this is amazing result for us how did she do it what a fighter mary is yaar mary i have seen her since childhood we've always played in the same nationals uh, like so many nationals and so many times i've seen that whenever she is losing like she has fought back and she is you know flipped the result so many times but anyway she has won Though I don't even know the whether the computer has updated the result right or because it says it's a mistake and oh maybe she never played that she took on she took bishop d four that's why it got stuck queen d four she played this knight f six rook d two d five oh maybe she played this knight a seven she castled knight c six queen eight queen f six Oh look at this! There is a mate in one. Obviously, white won't allow that. What? How did she win? Okay, I don't know how she won because this is surely not the game. Like, I mean, it cannot be the end. Either it is incomplete or something is wrong. But if the result has come, then I would definitely say Mary has won. Should I update it, guys? Can you once confirm to me also if Mary has won? from somewhere that would be great because i don't want to update the result here um on our overlay until i'm sure about it what about other results have they updated nandida's result no still stuck what about uh, priyanka nutakki yeah it's drawn we have updated so only mary and nandida yeah nandida's is stuck so mary and right now abhimanyu So Abhimanyu, oh Abhimanyu wins the game. It's over because he played the last move. King F two. He played ninety five, and the opponent resigned over here uh, because literally he doesn't have anything much. If you see here, knight, if ninety five, rook e five. Ah, uh, this knight is knight e two. You might try to do this at the most, but then the rook is coming to f three, and Yeah, it's not so easy. The king will jump in. I mean, there is there is no plan for white for counter attack. So Abhimanyu has won the game. Uh, Mary has also won. That's what they are saying. So only Priyanka's, only Nandita's game is stuck. But at least until I get some confirmation, I'll update this. Anybody can help me by letting me know what has happened in Nandita's game. That would really be helpful. If that game is over means means everything is over today ma'am refresh nahi refresh se nahi ho raha tha but let's try one more time no it's it's stuck for me uh Rashi is saying yes, she won. Who won? You mean Mary won? Okay, so I will update for Mary. Wow, that is amazing. With black, Mary won. So Abhimanyu also won. Wow, our Indians did so well today, guys. What is the total score we got from nine? One two 
थ्री एंड फोर आउट ऑफ फाइव इन ओपन सेक्शन वी हैव फोर आउट ऑफ फाइव इन फैक्ट नो बडी लॉस्ट अमेजिंग वी ओनली डोंट नो नंदिता इज रिजल्ट बट द होल टीम टूडे इज अनबीटन विच इज ग्रेट रक्षित इज गोइंग बैक टू द ड्रॉइंग बोर्ड टू मेक थिंग्स बेटर एंड टू एड अंडर अलर्ट फीचर सी यू गाइज अरे रक्षित जाओ जाओ Yes, okay. Lenin says, "Okay, ma'am, I will help." Arey, thank you, Lenin. N N what happened to Nandita? That's the question we all are having because this is the position which is seventeen moves, and it has been this on leeches since a long, 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 long time. So, Janto, I am W. I am elect. Mary game what happens so is just now okay. Mary has won that's what the result is saying so only one result we don't know yet but the game we cannot i mean we just need to know the result uh in in women's also right now it's 2 and 1/2 out of 3 so if you count the total yeah rashi has said 7 and 1/2 maybe sakar says nandita game is on ओके हर गेम इज ऑन साकार वेर आर यू सीइंग इट लेट मी ट्राई समवेर एल्स नंदिता हैज नाइनटीन मिनिट्स एंड अपोनेंट हैज फिफ्टीन मिनिट्स ओके let me just try to bring the game uh on the screen ma'am it is stuck everywhere acha on leeches at least it is stuck everywhere that is so even i don't know if it is there on let me find on chess dot com if I can. So guys, we should continue the same layout, right? You guys like it. Oh, by the way, live subscribers, what is the news on that? I forgot to click there. We have thirty. Twelve lakh thirty six thousand and sixty six subscribers right now, and guys, whoever has not uh, subscribed, do subscribe. But our aim is twelve lakh, no thirteen lakh by the end of this tournament. Lo yes, love this layout. So I can continue the same thing for the webcam. Yeah, that's the easiest thing because I. the problem was the background was a lot of colors and so this is something very new interesting we have tried how do you like the uh, webcam opacity sagar would be completely shocked uh, but i think we have tried something new so that was good chess results no i think one last try i'm going to do and if it works out then i will have it hmm Kirti Patel says loved the layout. Abhi na abhi. Okay, it is not updating for me here also. For me, it's not updating. Sakar, so um, do you have any idea about the position, the current assessment? Because
Ah, wait, 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 wait. Yes, 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 yes. Have it, have it, mostly have it. Ah, yes, got it. Oh, there also it's stuck. <laughs> okay, guys, it's stuck everywhere. So, what should we do? Maybe, maybe I'll wait for a few minutes. Maybe we can talk. Maybe if you have any questions about this tournament, I will also show you something for all those who are not here. You can see on the right screen there. Um, by the way, there is like almost 20 and half crores of total prize money for this event, which is so huge. Do you remember the total prize money for the world championship, which was there? I think it was around 18 crores, if I remember it correctly. And look at this. If tomorrow, if the people who drew today, if our players who drew today, if tomorrow also they draw, then third day they will have a tie break, which will be... They will play two games with 25 minutes each plus 10 seconds increment. If those two will end in a draw, then they will play another with 10 plus 10. 10 minutes each and 10 seconds increment. And then 5 plus 3. So it will, you know, keep going on. Today was a buy for Gukesh. There you can see on the right. One second. Yeah, you can see Gukesh had a buy. He is the 8th seed year, top Indian year with 2744 classical rating. Then followed by Vidit 2719. He's also having a buy in the first round. Then it is 2710 for Arjun who had a buy today. Pragnananda 2690. He also had a buy today. Nihal 2688, who knows, maybe this is the tournament, he reaches 2700, he had a buy. Humpy is the third seed in the women's section with 2553, she also had a buy. Harika, 2500, she is also in top 10 seed, I guess, having a buy. And Vaishali, 2431, she also had a buy. So tomorrow, SL Narayanan will play either Tisir or Kuzubov. And if SL beats next round, uh, not tomorrow, if SL beats next round, then SL Narayanan will play Gukesh. Abhimanyu, if he wins this whole match, then he will play uh, Swidler. Adiban, if he is able to beat his opponent, he will play with Daniel Dubov. Karthik, if he is able to beat... Kaidano, then he will play with Nakamura. Harshato, we know if he's able to beat uh, like uh, Levan, then it is Magnus Carlsen. Rakshat says, Can you ask Janta if I should reduce the size of the bars? Three bars in a row horizontally and display only the first name of the player so that more information from less space can be derived. Yeah, I completely think. I, I I think that would be great, Rakshit, if you, um, like the names can be only one name is fine for us. Plus, um, what, what else? Let me bring that bar thing just to understand. Guys, this is what, if you can help Rakshit with your opinion, he's working on the bars. So, he asks, should he reduce the size of the bars? So that there will be three bars in a row, horizontally. Three bars in a row. Or Rakshit, how about if there are there are bar, there is a bar like this one bar and there are names on the side. So it is like, you see this bar, the names are on this side. So basically it is like, we'll fit one, this is two, this is three, four, five, six. Actually we can fit a lot of bars then. So instead of like the box, which is uh, more towards horiz horizontal, length and breadth, weight, yeah, it can extend, right? 
would that be better even the chat can let us know how is the pairing constructed since the since arsha has to go against magnus yeah they have this uh, they have a software which does the direct uh, based on seeding rating they have the pairings shouldn't prax rating be counted as 2700 as is round is after 1st august no from 1st august no the tournament has started in july right so not really who has the best chances of reaching the farthest rounds from india in men's i think the young guns and uh, in women's also actually um, very good chances hampi harika paishali stars and bars <laughs> Godaro says, "Oh, it's Sagar versus Amrita. Whom should I watch? I think right now Sagar because uh, almost all the games are ending and have it ended. In fact, let me check if at all there is any luck, and they have updated uh, Nandida's game, which has been stuck since quite a long time everywhere because of which we are not able to watch it. No, it is not a being updated." सेटअप चेंज किया है येस निहारिका हाउ डू यू लाइक द सेटअप बिकॉज दिस इज अ वेरी डिफरेंट काइंड ऑफ टूर्नामेंट वेर वी हैव ऑल द प्लेयर इज फोटो हियर बिकॉज वो फिक्सड है ना दे आर फिक्सड दीज मेनी प्लेयर्स साकार सेज ऑल बार इज टूगेदर लाइक नाउ इज ग्रेट द बर्ड्स आई व्यू ओनली थिंग इज दैट इट शुड बी जूम्ड आउट ज्ञानेश्वर से वैशाली फेसेस द म्यूजी चूक सिस्टर्स इन राउंड थ्री एंड फोर इज इट पॉसिबल टू एड अ बार एट डाउन ऑफ अ प्लेयर हाँ बट अ फोटो दैट वोट बी बिकॉज हाँ दैट कुड बी इंटरेस्टिंग बट आई थिंक दैट विल गेट टू कॉम्प्लिकेटेड फॉर नाउ बट गाइज वॉट डू यू थिंक इफ द बार वॉट आई एम सेंग इज इफ द सिक्स बार इज आर प्लेस्ड इन दिस वे लाइक लेट्स ए this is the bar okay so this is the bar on left side and here on this right side is the name like let's say um nandida versus yan so in one row basically it is one row which covers a bar and a name so then we will have 1 2 3 4 that way but it's only a designing thing i think feature wise thing is important first whatever you want to improve and then we can go for uh these changes might be easier than the feature changes so rakshit i guess we can ask tomorrow once again with more people also and let's see but this was amazing this is just the whole whole concept was uh, i think really great if we are able to make it work no this is better says vivek acha horizontal nahi maybe somehow the player name inside or besides the bar yeah i feel besides but i think it's all about perspective for different people maybe we should have a poll later so right now we can keep it this way once sagar is back we can have a poll and we can decide on this anyway tomorrow also how did mary win i don't know they have not really updated the game exactly rakshit says my previous design was like that i have sent you on whatsapp you can check it out acha ah okay let me try if i can put it to your for the people to see guys rakshit has sent another option for designing if at all you can give your opinion there would be nice
Oops. Yeah, this is another. Uh, this is another option, which we have. So it's let's say. Let's say if it is something like this. Instead of horizontal. Maybe Rakshit, what also you can do is, if at all horizontal also, the thumbnail uh, image size can be good if you can take from a bit. Ah, yeah, I like this. This looks so. It's but how many we can fit? One. If it is so huge, then it can be thinner. Actually, it can be even thinner if you want. So one. Yeah, but if it is in if it is long like this then you can have the 0.62 in the center on top only so that you don't have to use that space niche ka you get it so it's like yaha pe ek aayega plus 1 plus 1 plus so yeah if it is this way then uh, we won't have that much space for uh, the evaluation number niche it has to go upar but this is also good this is also good no what you have done uh, i think this is the four ones now maybe i like what you did <laughs> in comparison rakshit jo bhi kar rahe ho badhiya hi hai to bas anyway tumko jo best lagta hai waise karo i think just go for what you what you love what you think would be the best Vinit says nobody has lost today. Yes, absolutely nobody. That is a big thing for us, in fact. And guys, I don't think this is getting updated. So what I will do is does final before I I think before we end, if at all we get any final update, that would be the best, which I'm trying. Yeah. Let's uh, let's end the stream today because I don't think this is uh, being updated. And what we will do is tomorrow we'll see you again four thirty. Uh, things will be much better. Today was day one. A little bit of um, things have to be modified and edited better. But let's see tomorrow at four four twenty. Once again, Rakshit says one k likes before we end. Kitna ho gaya like. नहीं रक्ष रक्ष बिफोर वी एंड मतलब आई थिंक यू आर सेइंग कि मेरे को सोने का नहीं है रात भर वन एटी एट लाइक्स ही हुए आज कुछ मांगे नहीं लाइक्स वाइक्स बट आई थिंक कल डेफिनेटली कल पक्का मांगते हैं प्रोफेसर प्रेमा इंग्लिश व्हाट हैव यू आस्ट सॉरी आई हैव मिस्ड योर can you what what should i tell professor prema english oh 861 likes hue hai kya it's not updated for you acha ha fir thode thode to like kar sakte ho guys 864 wolf gang vader so currently what is the which is the web series all of you are watching देखो गेम्स एंडेड है ऑलमोस्ट एक गेम है जो अपने को मिल नहीं रहा है अपन रुके हैं इसके लिए मैंने सवाल पूछा है और ऑल्सो सागर आने के बाद मैं पूछूंगी नहीं सो अक्षय सेज आफ्टर आई रिस्टार्ट एट द सर्वर द बार इज डिन क्रैश आई डोंट नो आई डोंट थिंक आई चेक आई मीन इट इज देयर राइट नाउ सो डजेंट सीम लाइक दे डिड नो Guys, while you are telling which web series you watch, also press a like button. Thousand pe me end kar sakte ho. Rakshita, I reduce the stock fish depth from ten, ah, to ten from twenty. Ah, got it. Jack Ryan. But does seem like tell is the World Cup online match? No, it is not online. It is an offline. It is happening in Baku. a very very beautiful city you can also see i think if you, all of you have missed uh, then you can check out sagar's vlogs also we have shahid ahmed there from chessbase india we have uh, and sagar over there 
but sagar will come back and uh, shahid is covering he writes articles you can check on chessbiz.in uh, also some interviews some uh, he went to a very nice uh, museum uh, where it there is miniature uh, miniature uh, books even a stamp size book very nice photos i didn't even know something like this so both saita so baku is beautiful actually because of this tournament i think um, a lot of people will get to know i guess uh panchayat and playlist ah yeah 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 playlist is uh, spotify yeah i know that yeah panchayat is good right i think thoda old but all of but they are all old na so nothing nothing interesting coming up it seems now okay guys it was a good uh, good thing today i think for india because we did not lose any game one game is going on which is nandida nandida's game but it is all stuck everywhere so unfortunately we are not getting any update about it uh, so we will take your leave and uh, tomorrow we'll see you at 4:20 it will be better it will only get better each day first day always has some uh, some issues but next day it always gets sorted so do do uh, come definitely drop a like and subscribe so that more people get to know and we can all support the 17 players who are playing here uh, and sagar is currently at baku he he was uh, commentating for fides uh, fide channel so do check that out as well and have a very good day uh, also finally abhidaya op for amazing layouts and lot of beautiful beautiful things what he did a year we experimented and also rakshit op because of the bars uh, which he got it got a huge interest so maza aaya and let's see let's meet tomorrow this is this is fide fide world cup okay okay guys ending the stream right now see you tomorrow tada bye bye